This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> All right. T check. Testing. Testing. No echo. No dangle clacks. I'm just a little bit stuffy. I'm a little bit congested. It's just something we're going to have to deal with, okay? <clears throat> All right. Pow! There it is. Well, hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome and hello. Can you hear my voice? I, I, I sound like a 90-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is, as I said, Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Thursday. I've been gone for a little bit. I've been traveling to, to Germany and to Switzerland and to the UK, but I'm back. We should be back, right back on track. I don't plan on doing any more travel until, you know, way later in the summer, way later in August. But we're here to vlog. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest. I feel like I've been away so long. I feel like this way every time I come back after a few weeks break, I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Here's the thing. I got back on Monday from my European trail. I see you guys there in the chat. I really appreciate you coming out. Wicked, Zam, I see you there. Daniel B, Rob McAustin, Rich M. Megs is here. I heard that coming a mile away. Freaking Twisted Messes is here. My, my my new travel buddy, my BFF travel buddy, Twisted Messes is here. Ray, I see you there. Howard, I see you there. Darth Vapor. Darth Vapor's here. I haven't seen Microwave Oven yet tonight. I hope to see Microwave Oven tonight. Rocco, Barbara, appreciate you guys being here truly and tremendously because Nick told me to. <laughs> that cracks me up literally every time. So I got back from the UK from my European travels and uh, immediately got sick just instantly. Monday night in, in the Uber ride home from LAX, I, I just thought, it's happening. It's happening. I know I'm getting sick. On the plane, I could feel like a little, kind of like a post-nasal drip thing happening. And I thought, well, maybe it's just the ventilation and the airplane. You know, sometimes that recycled, like really dry, recycled airplane air that's like blowing at you from that little spout, like right into your mouth while you sleep. You're just... I thought well, maybe that was it. Maybe that's what's making me feel wonky. No, nope, it was just sickness. And I spent all day just wallowing and like on the couch and wallowing in pain and like, I feel bad. And I like slept a bunch. Wednesday was a little bit better. We played some Tears of the Kingdom on Twitch. And then Thursday, here, we're here. We, it is what it is. So I'm a little bit under the weather. You're gonna be able to hear it in my voice. I'm gonna keep this a little bit lower energy than I usually do, you know? I don't feel great. It's gonna be a little bit low energy. There might be a little bit of, uh, you know, coughing or uh, expectorating. Some mucus might be happening. I'll, I'll do my best to keep all the grossness down to down to a minimum. But here we are, damn it. We're back on vlog day. I appreciate you guys being here. There's microwave oven. All right, woo. Okay, yeah, you're so quiet. I didn't hear you gently, gently whirring away over there, microwave oven. Appreciate you. The late night vape show is here. Birmingham con crud. Did you get some Birmingham con crud as well? We're gonna talk about the Birmingham show uh, and, and Hall of Vape, and we're gonna go through everything that I picked up. Uh, it, it's gonna be, it's, it's just gonna be a big, a big haul. I'd like to find something in there to build. Uh, you know, I'd like to set something up, but we're gonna go all through it. It's gonna be great. I also have some vape mail. In fact, before we get too far, let me let me do a, just a real quick rundown for you thing. Let me just let me just do a real quick rundown for you. Uh, we got a beer actually. I, I do plan on drinking a beer regardless of how I feel tonight. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I've been vaping, what you've been vaping. I got a retro vape. We're gonna do some news because holy crap, a lot has happened. Holy crap, a lot has happened. We're still gonna try to keep it to 15 minutes, but the news always runs a little bit long. I apologize. Mail, haul, that's all happening. We're gonna end it with a very random liquid tasting. I'm excited. I'm excited for the retro vape uh, actually as well. I, I picked it out earlier today and I'm, <laughs> I've been pumped on it ever since. I'd like to see if you guys can, can, can guess it just from looking at the deck, but uh, Appreciate you guys chilling, Mike Murray, chilling. We're vlogging and I'm just chilling. Twisted Messes is in the house, of course. We can't forget my favorite uh, Twisted Messes super chat of all time from the vlog last week where he said he doesn't smell poo. <laughs> I took a screenshot of it because it was so funny to me. <laughs> I can't smell farts, I can't smell poop. 
Can't smell farts. Can't smell poop. That's old. That old Kent. Kent. Kent and I had a freaking great time uh, traveling through Europe and traveling to Germany and traveling through Switzerland. It just had a damn hell ass good time. Uh, I don't have any media really to share from it other than what's going to be in the hall. But I plan on doing a, a hall of vape video. I think I have enough video. I shot enough video to do a full like hall of vape video. So that should be dope. I'm going to do a full Vapor Expo UK video, which I just want to say I, I need to apologize to the UK because this vlog is like the worst possible time slot for anybody across the pond. If you're in Germany, it sucks. If you're in the UK, this time slot sucks. If you're in Switzerland, this time slot sucks. I met so many people who are hashtag replay crew. So I have to give a tremendous shout out to everybody keeping it real on the replay crew. I really very do appreciate it. I can't think of a solution. You know, the vlog has been 4.30 on Thursdays for, for years now. And I don't know if changing the time slot would be a good or a bad thing. Maybe I need to do a, uh, maybe I need to do like a survey monkey type of poll. See, pick the ideal perfect time for the vlog live stream. But uh, we're gonna power through today. We're, we're gonna power through uh, the first thing what am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm vlogging. Are we streaming. Are we live. Are we live right now? Gunny, I appreciate you there. Uh, the first thing I do, uh, let's get a beer. Let's get a beer going. You guys, let's get a beer going. In fact, before we get a beer going, I wanted to share, uh, I wanted to share two, uh, crowdfunding, uh, uh things, you know, I, I, I don't do this very often, and when I do do it, it I, I, it's for something important. It's for, it's for important things. And the first GoFundMe I'm going to share, if I can find it, uh, it, it's for our very own Earn. I've, have I seen Earn in the chat yet tonight? Uh, I'll just leave this in the in the chat uh, and in the description of this video. Um, if you if you would like to donate any money to it to earn. I don't know how to share a link that's better than that awful link. I just, oh, here's a better link. Okay. I'm sorry. That was a really bad link. Here's a much better link. Uh, Ern and his family had some pretty devastating news happen recently and I won't, I won't overshare. I'll let you read the GoFundMe for yourself, but anything you want to donate, uh, would, would be spectacular, you know, would, would be just great. Uh, tough things, tough family things. And uh, my, my heart goes out to you, Ern. Hey, I love you, Ern. I love you, man. It's it's really heartbreaking. This one, the uh, the other one, is a little bit more upbeat. My my cousin Barbara, who I think it's her birthday coming up. When is your birthday, Barbara? When's your birthday? Her birthday is coming up. Uh, uh, Haley, and I, I don't know if I'm related to this person or not. I, I could I could possibly be related to this person. She she's trying to raise some money for her high school to get new uniforms, like marching band uniforms. And I think that's just the coolest, nerdiest thing ever. I was a, I was a band nerd in high school. I played trumpet. I was first chair, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna brag or anything, but uh, I got to be first chair trumpet player in my high school concert band. So I'm gonna put this link in the chat and in the description as well. If you wanted to help out uh, someone I, I could possibly be related to, get high school marching band uniforms. That's just great. That's that's so wholesome. <laughs> you know, that's just so freaking wholesome. Appreciate you guys. Uh, and, and, and like I said, you know, there's no obligation, but anything you want to give would be tremendously, tremendously appreciated. Now then, now then, even in my current condition, what's up, Jay Cook? Chilling. Should we have a beer? Let's have a beer, fam. Because I I'm a bad person and a bad YouTuber. Uh, I don't remember if we've done this one before. I think we did this one. I think we did this one maybe a few weeks ago, and I believe that this beer may have come from my wife. And that's what makes me the worst person is I can't remember where this beer came from. It's a session sour ale, so that kind of leads me to believe that it may have come from Jedi because he's such a uh, you know the vape and Jedi. He's such a sour dude. <laughs> he's a sour connoisseur German beer. It's throaty. Let me tell you, uh, Steve and, and Poonsaw, since I see you in the chat, 
if you ever have the opportunity to go to Germany, next year at Hall of Vape, we got to get you beer people to Germany because the beer there is just incredible. Every beer is a banger. No clunkers. Everything I drink there is delicious, completely and thoroughly satisfying and delicious. We got to get you to Germany, Poon Sauce McNasty. You're, you're the beer guy, you know. I'm not the beer guy. I'm just a beer guy. I'm going to be pouring this into a, uh, you know, a Bull and Bush brewery. This came from uh, someone as well. Pouring. Yeah, I can already smell it. It's already making my jowls water. Already making my tangy jowls water. Maybe this will be good for the throat. Maybe this will be good for my sinuses. I don't know. Is there any hard science on uh, drinking a, a, a sour ale to cure, your, uh, to cure your ailments? I've heard that that could be a real thing. Let me read a little bit about this because there's no, I mean, at least that I could find any sort of ratings for this. But they say as the days grow warmer and longer, which uh, they are, Sun Trap pulls the craft beer lover into its powerfully refreshing orbit, soured with lactobacillus and fermented with passion fruit puree. Sun Trap's tart and fruity flavors illuminate the palate. This four and a half ABV quencher is finished with Mendocino sea salt and lemon peel for a lightly tart, bright, vibrant, refreshing sensation with every sip. How do you not want to drink this beer right now? From poolside hangouts to cookouts to porch sipping and hammock lounging, Sun Trap, S Sun Trap shines at any summertime occasion. The vlog is a summertime occasion, you guys. Cheers. Here's to you. Look at this. No head on this to drink like a man. This looks like a cider. It feels like a cider. It's going to taste like a cider. Hey, that's delicious. That's sweeter than I remember it being. Much sweeter than I remember it being. That passion fruit puree, the sourness of the passion fruit puree, delightful. It's bright. It's tangy. It's zippy. I, when I worked for Starbucks in the tasting room, uh, we would often do many blind tastings where we'd set up coffees and we'd just go, oh, this is just a a washed coffee from Guatemala. Let's pick out some characteristics and see if we can use it or whatever. And we'd be tasting it and tasting it and people would be chiming in, you know, and they'd say, oh, it's really bright and this, that, and the other. I always described certain coffees as zippy. Zippy. I was trying to really get that into the Starbucks flavor tasting lexicon. It's like, we can, we can agree. We can all agree that this is zippy. No, nobody agrees with me. No one wants to use the term zippy. So I'm bringing it back. Morning, soft carrots. I'm bringing it back. This beer is, uh, it's zippy. It's bright. It's got that nice, sour, tangy jowls. My mouth is watering even when I'm not drinking it down. That's delightful. Fruity, bright. I could see laying in the pool, sipping this by the poolside 100%. I hope we have more of these somewhere in the house. I think we do. Delicious. This is a delicious beer. And yeah, like I said, every beer that I drank in Germany, which was frequently, frequently, both Germany and the UK. UK, I didn't have any clunker beers either. And in fact, people handed me off some real beer, some real like solid beers. I had a, a Golden Drock Special Reserve there. I know, zippy is not a cupping table term, but I tried. You know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to get zippy into the, into the slurping tasting table, but it's okay. You know what? It's okay. What are you going to do? My legacy will be somewhere else. No one will remember that Nick Green worked in the Starbucks tasting room and he tried to force everybody to use the term zippy. <laughs> he tried to get zippy <laughs> into the lexicon. I don't know exactly right now what I could pair this with. Let's go with this, except I don't quite want to show you this device yet because it's going to happen in the what I've been vaping and it's something I bought in Germany uh, and it's my new favorite thing of all time, but we're still going to do a little pairing here.
Holy cow. That is a really good pairing. So this is the uncommon yellow. I don't remember what number this is because I'm bad at remembering things. Number two. This is the number two. This is uncommon number two. It's the yellow. It's the mango raspberry iced tea. It's got a little bit of like a surf satisfying vibe to it. It's pairing just delightfully with this sour. Holy cow. Match made in heaven. That is a match made in flavor heaven. Oh, that's good. I think it is actually like uh, helping my sinuses, clearing me out just a little bit. Zippy. If I had to describe this beer with one word, you know it's going to be zippy. You know it's going to be zippy. You know it's going to be zippy. Okay, you guys. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to start drinking this beer, but what I would like to do, just because I saw a few pop in, Let's head over to read some super chats, you guys. Did I mention I feel like so crazy out of practice, like I don't know what I'm doing right now? Hang on, let's do these super chats. Uh, sewer rug, bro, it was your birthday and I missed it. Uh, he says, yo, yo, and salutations. It's my favorite day of the week. I will not be here when you read this. So many sewers, so little time. I'll pop in later on. I thought for sure you were going to go with I'll poop in later on because sewers, you know, poop. I'll poop in later on. No, that's right. Sewer rug is an anti-vooper. That's fine. Omar, that's very gracious of you. I'm waiting for you to review the Caliburn A3S because I know your reaction for the review. Omar, here's the thing. I don't know. Should I review the Caliburn A3S? I wasn't going to give it like its own standalone video because... It's the Caliburn A3 in a new battery with no button. It's essentially the same format they followed with the A2 and the A2S, except the A2 and the A2S are not compatible with the A3 and the A3S. It vapes exactly like the Caliburn A2S. It, like, it's, it's a carbon copy. You, you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If someone handed me an A3S and an A2S in a blind vaping, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. With that said, dude, it vapes really good because it's a Cali burn and Cali burns generally vape really good. The A3S severely, severely failed the flight test. I flew with a pod that was about halfway full. I tried to turn it upside down. Didn't really matter. It just sucked all that liquid right in there and it was it was a flooded gurgly nightmare of a mess when I flew with it Omar so take that information for what it's worth it's not it's not uh it's not bad you know it's not bad I don't have a banana sticker rating right now because I haven't really thought about it but maybe I'll give it its own full review just for Omar the title will be for Omar here's the caliber in a3s uh the great Seamus very gracious of you Ready for another five-hour HOV haul vlog. Yeah, the last one was really long, wasn't it? The last time we did the Hall of Vape haul, it was a long one. Welcome home. Hope you feel better ASAP, brother. Hey, love you. Hey, Seamus, love you, bro. Appreciate that. We, we could go long. We might go long. It all depends on how I'm feeling, really. Uh, Tribal Buddha, my friend Tribal Buddha with the, with the super chat of the beast. Replay crew tonight. Uh, the kids have the final choir show tonight. Uh, my daughter is doing uh, House on the Hill by Pretty Reckless. Hey, Nick, love you. Hey, Tribal Buddha, love you, bro. Awesome. G yes, Replay Crew, go hang with your kids. Listen to your daughter sing the Pretty Reckless song. That's so badass, bro. <laughs> that's cool as hell. I, I hope they kill it. I hope it's amazing. That's, that's, that's heartwarming to me, Tribal Buddha. That's, that's the heartwarming comment I needed tonight. New Wave Dave, a very gracious of you. Walked into my room today and splat. My cat rigged a bucket above my door filled with rotten eggs that he took the time to crack. <laughs> he was standing with a camera. Standing? Well, I mean, I guess if your cat can rig a bucket of rotten eggs above your door, he does have probably the ability to stand and opposable thumbs because he's holding a camera. Standing with a camera laughing and saying, give Nick 10 bucks. And you did, New Wave Dave. You just caved. 
You just caved to your cat's demands. That's unbelievable. Get in the shower. Get in the shower. I can smell you from here, New Wave Dave. Barbara, that's very gracious of you. My birthday is April 16th, but you didn't get me a gift. Oh, so sharing Haley's link was your gift to me. She's a Burgess cousin. Uh, she graduates tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. She's she's graduating high school. And even like even though she's graduating, she's still doing this fundraiser so that the underclass, you know, the the rest of the school can get new uniforms and she's not even gonna be there to enjoy it. She's just she's gone. She graduated. That's great. That's a, this is a case of planting the tree that you know that you're not going to get to sit in the shade of. And, and I really admire that. Everybody go, go give her like five bucks. That would be fantastic. Kevin Long, appreciate you. Glad you're back. Listen, it feels good. It, it really feels good. Uh, on my flight home, this, this vlog live stream was like all I was thinking about. I was like, oh, I can't wait to get back. Can't wait to get back on that vlog. Can't wait to get back on that live stream. Can't wait to see like all my friends again, the community again. It's weird. It, like when I'm not streaming and I'm, I'm not here, I feel like a little bit detached. And I'm like, well, what's going on with everybody? Let's hang out. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's go. What are you doing? Let's hang out. I like to feel, you know, I like to feel connected to the community. And Georgia boy, I, I, Georgia boy, I love you, bro. Love Georgia boy. Appreciate you. Love you, bro. All right. Super chats. <laughs> Super chats just put a smile on my face. I appreciate you guys uh, more than I think you'll ever understand. Let's see. What else did I have on here before I got into anything like uh, what I've been vaping? Oh, yeah. I need to apologize to the Grim Army Facebook group. I think I've apologized to them in the past, and I'm going to apologize again right now. Facebook, and I was talking to Matt Cully about this at Hall of Vape. Facebook is a social media platform. I just, it, it has fallen off my radar completely. I rarely go to Facebook. I don't use my Facebook. There is a bustling Grim Army Facebook group that I get notifications for. And when I can, I try to get in there and like things. And I see Sky Cult posting and I see people posting their, you know, their setups and things like that. And I just want to apologize for not being as active as I, as honestly, as I should be in that Facebook group. Uh, you know, my, my time gets segmented into all these little different areas. And unfortunately, the Grim Army Facebook group on Facebook is the one that just comes in last. And I'm trying to do something about that. I'm trying to be more aware of it. So just know that I'm with you in spirit and everybody keep posting and doing what you're doing in the Grim Army Facebook group. And I'm going to try to get in there more and, uh, you know, just stir shit up, you know, stir it up, cause drama. <laughs> Cause that's what, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do is just cause drama. I like causing drama and then addressing the drama that I caused, you know, that's my favorite thing to do. Isn't that what, what vape YouTubers are supposed to do? No. So I apologize. I'll try to get over there a lot, lot more. But now I don't have a, uh, I don't have a couch. I don't have a couch what I've been vaping. So instead of a bumper, we get Mitch Zeller. F the FDA. That's right. F the FDA. Here's a few things that I've been vaping now. <sighs> Sorry. Hang on. Ooh, sorry. I, uh, I, I thankfully, you can thank me later. I saved you the, the sounds of my m mucus throat yeller area. Maybe the beer isn't helping. <laughs> or maybe it is. Who cares? At least it tastes good, right? Uh, so if I was a good YouTuber, I would have shot a what I've been vaping segment while I was traveling. I got home and thought about it. And I'm like, damn it. Why didn't I do that? That was stupid. Should have done that. So real quickly, here's a few things that I've been vaping. This is what I basically took with me to, or what I was vaping while I was traveling is uh, Vapresso, the Cross 3 Nano, man. Th this was like, uh, as soon as I got to the UK, this was my banger vape. They're doing these new, do you see how fucking sick that is? I love the hell out of this Vapresso Cross 3 Nano with like, the goopy plastic drip down the side, I just love it. It messes it up. Like it doesn't sit right because it's thicker down here and it feels weird because it's thicker on one side, but I like 
like putting my fingers in these grooves. It just makes the experience that much more enjoyable. This is a great pod to begin with, easily top tier, easily headed to the Hall of Fame. If it's not in the Hall of Fame already, it should be. 0.6 coil head, uh, Eric Vinyl and Vapor Deep Cuts, Guava Jellies on the inside. I'm gonna try it with this uh, three weavers right now. That's great. That is a great little pairing right there. Whew. Has anybody seen this on the internets yet? I haven't, I hadn't, before I saw this at their booth in UK, I didn't know that it existed and they had one green one. And I went over to the dude who's running Vapresso and I said, I'm taking this. <laughs> and he said, are you really? I said, yeah, this is, belongs to me. I'm going to take it now. Do you want me to buy it? Cause otherwise I'm just going to take it. He offered it up and said, I could have it. Is my voice too quiet? Is my voice too quiet, Andrew? I'm sorry. If, if anything's too loud or too, too, too quiet, just please let me know. It is the goo pod and I love it. I was wearing it, you guys, I was wearing it on a lanyard all weekend. I was lanyard guy at the show with this around my neck as a lanyard. Felt I fit right in, I fit right in. Uh, I did bring my billet box, the Billy Billy billet box, uh, silver uh, 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 bluegrass sorry this one's named bluegrass I forgot about that bluegrass and it had the MV on the inside and this was probably my most used travel vape I took it with me everywhere vaped it every single day I got amazing 18650 battery life with like a 0 0.6 0 0.8 on the inside I never really worried about my liquid but I never really worried about my battery life. It was just like for a travel vape, the billet box with a mouth to lung was like the most reliable thing. The most reliable thing. Other than that, just it's the empire, you know? Look, I'm biased. It's my squonker and I love the shit out of it. This is a uh, special edition patron version of the empire that we're releasing Hopefully within the next month or so, we call it the skeleton version. Big cutouts on the side so you can see your battery. Don't worry, we're shipping it with black uh, 21700 battery wraps. So you can put your, your battery in there. You can rewrap your battery, put it in there. It'll be black and matching with the black front plate. This is the, uh, the P22. Uh, this is technically gunmetal. I was... Uh, pestering Monarchy Poland on Instagram about a black P22 because this is exactly what I envisioned in my head. I knew I was taking this to the UK. I knew I was taking this to Germany and I wanted a black little P22 on top. He comes up to me and he says, well, we did gunmetal and that's the closest we can get to black. And I said, this, this for all intents and purposes is, is perfect. It's absolutely everything I wanted. And so I posted it on my Instagram story. I said, Monarchy Poland made my dreams come true because the green and the black with the black, like it, it's perfect. This is almost exactly what I envisioned vaping in Germany in my head. Thank you to Monarchy Poland for making my, uh, making my dream come, tr come true. And I will say that the black P22, look, I'm not saying it whistles, but it, I, I will say that it's a bit more whistly than the stainless steel one. Observe. Okay, maybe not. Uh, delicious. This is a, uh, this is a, this is a uh, uncommon. It's the blue again. I don't know what number this is because uh, I'm an idiot. Number one, this is number one. This is the snickerdoodle uh, cookie with vanilla ice cream. It's amazing. I, I love it. Obviously I love it. And, uh, that's what I was vaping out of this. Damn hell ass good that. And I've learned that like every RDA that I put on top of the empire, every RDA that goes on top of a squonk requires a slightly, slightly different, like squonking technique you know there's somewhere you can just jam the bottle and just flood the deck and it sucks it back in you're like yeah everything's wet with this one it's like i i do this like one two three type of thing 
And that's the method for this tiny little flavor banger P22. Holy shit, that juice is good. Anyway, that's what I was rocking. And then lastly, lastly what I've been vaping is the device that I bought and picked up from Moo Mods at Hall of Vape. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. Like this is the coolest thing I think I've ever owned. This could be the coolest thing I've ever owned. It's a DNA 60, single 18650. And I don't know if you can see here, let me try to get more up close on it. I don't know if you can see these like cutouts. It's like slim through here and textured. And then it's like tapered on the front right here. And these little grooves, like your fingers just find them. And you go, oh, that's how I'm going to hold this. It's got this flat square button across the front. Whoops, wrong camera. Well, that's not actually the terrible camera, except it's the choppiest camera on, on planet Earth. So we're going to switch to this one. Pow. It's butamous. It's beautiful 9000. It's got this flat button across the front. For a second, I thought this black square was the button. It's not. It just happens to line up perfectly. The cutout is like at this angle, but the screen is flat in there, 0.4 at 45 watts. And you see like these little grooves and, and, and like cutouts. It's, it's a joy. It's a joy to hold. It's a joy to use. It's a crazy UV reactive. That's what I tried to do for the, for the thumbnail of this video, even though I look like dorky and cringy. Don't worry, that's sweat. I'm sweating right now. We haven't even got to the news yet, and I'm already rage sweating. Uh, it's amazing. These are, it's topped with a Kumo. It's got uh, something from Uncommon on the inside. I think this is the peanut butter. Mango. Sorry. It's the mango. Uh, it's the mango raspberry iced tea. I love the Kumo. I love the restricted lung. It's, j it's just good. This is exactly what I pictured when I when I saw this at the Moo Mods booth. I th my first thought was, well, of course I have to buy that. Of course I do. And I picked it up and I held it and I said, uh, "Are you selling these?" And he said, "Yeah." And I said, "How much is this one?" And he told me the price and I went, "Oh, thank you very much." And I just set it back down and said, "I will never be able to afford that. Couldn't possibly justify that price for this mod. That's expensive. As much as I want it, damn, that's a tough sell." And then then they got me. They got me. It was the very end of the last day of Hall of Vape. And I kept wandering around, peeking at the Moo Mods, peeking at the Moo Mods. And he found me and said, we're about to pack up. We've, we've sold everything. It's gone. We have one left. And it's the green one that you were looking at. We can give you a deal on it. Would you like a, can we give you a deal on it? Would, would, would that help, you know, would that sweeten, you know, your purchasing power? And I said, what kind of deal? And he said, this kind of deal. Obviously, I'm not going to name prices. You can go to Moo Mods and see. And I said, okay. I said, that is a deal. That's hard to pass up. That's hard to pass up. And not only do I love this mod and love the way it looks, I'm instantly sentimentally attached to it. This will forever be the Hall of Vape 2023 mod. I'm going to bring it back with me every time I go to Hall of Vape. I, I'm already sentimentally attached to it. And I don't know if the Kumo is going to live on here forever. Maybe the tripod too. It's a 22 millimeter top and the Kumo is 24. So there's a, a little slight bit of overhang, but you can't really notice. Anyway, this, this is like, this is my new pride and joy. And, and the adjustment button is up here. So I was looking, where's the adjustment buttons? Where's the adjustment buttons? How do I adjust this? Boom, up, down, up, down, right there. Uh, it's great. It's not in the way. You don't accidentally adjust your wattage. That's it. That, that's like my pride and joy. That's it. Uh, that's, that's what I've been vaping. As far as pods go, here's what I took with me to Switzerland. I've, uh, I'm going to add that into my review. It's been, uh, I won't spoil the review. It's been pretty damn good though. The Aspire Cyber S. It's nice to see things from Aspire again, at least in America. I picked this up while I was in Germany. This is the Nevox Feelin' A1, and 
dude, like, when did this become the best pot I've ever used? Review coming uh, very, very soon for that. And as you saw, it's the, it's the Caliburn A3S. It failed the flight test, but it was a pretty reliable banger when I needed it to be a pretty reliable banger. So that's it. That's what I have been vaping. There's there's nothing else. I don't have anything in the living room because I kind of just got home. Uh, I had something else set up on my desk. This was sitting here when I left and I came home and started vaping it immediately. It's the Type 2 on the Jake Scrapwood. It won't turn on. I just changed the batteries. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, apparently it needs new batteries in it, but that's got the tobacco in it. So that's what I've been vaping. It's kind of just down to a few things, although that's going to grow like crazy. It's going to grow. Like by next week, I'll have at least six to seven more things, including what we set up tonight, including what we set up in the build stream next week. It just, it just grows. It's like this monster that just grows on my desk of vape gear. It's just a thing that happens. I am sweating. It's hot in this new office. I'm used to my old, smaller, tiny office where the air conditioning just made it like a, like a blast chiller in there. And now I have the sun beating down on this wall of my house and it's just, it's just warm in here. It's just warm in here. So uh, now that we've done with that, uh, let's get to what you guys have been vaping. Oh, it's too loud. It's too low. Let's do it again. America, this is you. That's right. It's Assignment America time. I want to see your bangers. If you want to be featured in this segment, send me your bangers to nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I'll see the attachments. I'll use them accordingly. But uh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get off to a strong start here with Danny C. Danny C sent over uh, a whole mess of pictures and he just says, uh, greetings from Malaysia. My name is Danny. I just wanted to say that you and Vaping Bogan and probably Mike Vapes and Matt SMM are the ones who got me off Siggy's 20 years of cigarette smoking, 20 years of cigarette smoking completely ended by flavored nicotine vaping. Come on. That's a public health win. Uh, roughly four years ago. I can't thank you enough. Keep up the good work. Here are some of my collections. Sorry, they're scattered. I didn't have time to group them all into one photo. So we get some vape porn from Danny C in Malaysia. First things first, it's the clutch. Like that's the RDA for vaping V2 thrown on the clutch. He's got a matching drip tip and button. Sick. Vaping pistachio delight. Uh, sick. Super sick. Uh, additionally, that's the uh, heavy hitter, heavy hitter with some more pistachio baked. And the RDA on top is something I do not recognize. I thought it was Cthulhu at first, but I actually think it's the Mind Flayer. I think it's the, uh, some sort of Mind Flayer RDA. I don't know if anybody can ID that, that RDA for me, but I have no idea. I've never seen it before. Or, hey, maybe I have. Who knows? Yeah. The button on that clutch, right, Michael? That button rules. I love a good matchy matchiness and the drip tip button matching with the black on black and then like the matte shiny matte. That's just sick, Danny. That's just sick. But wait, there is more. That's right. Danny has a black empire, matte black empire with the matte black nitrous RDA on top. I got to say, I vaped this combo and it is busting. This is a busting combo right there. Additionally, but wait, there's more. We got billet boxes. We got Las Vape Centaurus with an Asgard. We got something with an Oxva RTA. Oxva made an RTA. Oh yeah, the Oxva Arbiter. I forget that Oxva made like hobbyist vape gear before they switched over like completely to pods. I never got to try that RTA. If anybody has a lead on where I can get an Oxva Arbiter, I would love to try that out. I'd love to do that for a retro vaping or a build stream or something. I think that would be sick. Uh, there's another squonker right there. It looks like uh, that Vandy vape squonker possibly with another nitrous on top. A mix on the end, but also he's got these mixes right here. I love the mix, the 2700 
kit on there. And uh, it looks like Pioneers. I don't know what tanks those are. I don't know. I don't know what either of those tanks are, but they look sicker than Mammaries on those mixes. We're going to be using the mix tonight, Danny C. And then lastly, yeah, there's a better look at that squonk with the nitrous. You got an Odin. You got a, another squonk there with another nitrous. You got another. You got the game over there with another stainless nitrous on top minus the beauty ring. Danny C., thank you for your assignment, Planet Globe. Shout out to you. Shout out to the vapors in Malaysia. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, had a, I, I mean, let's look. We had like two more over here. Uh, Nathan G. Nathan G. just sent this in and said, "Here's my daily bangers." Boom, Nathan G. Here's your daily bangers. Geek vape with something on top. Re, uh, atomizer that I don't know. At first glance, it almost looked like the dude RDA for a second, but I haven't seen a dude RDA in the wild for a really long time. Geek Vape Aegis, trusty, reliable Geek Vape Aegis with something on top. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at, eye, uh, at uh, eyeballing uh, RTAs and RDAs, and I just don't know what that is on top. That rainbow RTA, I apologize, Nathan. And then lastly, Pink is Punk Smock with the Druga RDA on top. Candy King on Ice, American Vape Classics, Vape and Shake. Awesome, Nathan. Your, your vape area looks like my vape area with just tweezers and cotton and, a, you know, the screwdriver just sitting there. Because when you're a vapor, I feel like 80% of hobbyist vaping is just fine-tuning and fiddling, you know? It's like, well, what's this airflow? Maybe I can turn the airflow a little bit. Yeah. Rewicking and fiddling and tightening and just... It's all part of it. You just have tools and things spread around and cotton everywhere. It's a perfect screenshot, perfect snapshot of vaping. Uh, Travis sent this in, and he even put his own uh, his own little thing on it. Vaping Butcher here. Here is my setup and daily bangers. I got my Pulse AIO 0.5 with the Ether RBA inside. My billet box, unfortunately, with the pulse vessel inside. What do you mean, unfortunately? That's a kind of a that's a kind of a good RBA, bro. <laughs> unfortunately, with <laughs> that's funny. I've never heard it phrased like that. Unfortunately, with the pulse vessel inside, my stubby with the stubby tank inside, and finally the Aegis L two hundred Classic Dual twenty one seven hundred with the Asgard Mini on top and some Jam Monster Blackberry. Yeah, that uh, L200 Classic is a monster. It's just gigantically big. Gigantically big. It's a perfect place to put an Asgard Mini. Perfect place to put an Asgard Mini. Thank you, Vapen Butcher. Appreciate you. Last one. Tyler. It's Tyler Baugh. It's Tyler B. I, I feel like maybe I've shared this one before, but maybe I haven't because this is one of those like, tell me you're a Grim Green subscriber without telling me you're a Grim Green subscriber. He's got Sifu's stash out the wazoo, the Jesus cookie, a kinder world, pistachio delight sitting next to the Vupu, sitting next to the snow cap, the marketplace Fuji pear mango berry. That liquid is amazing. He's got the Gar with the GT4 Raz. He's got a Grim Army Hexome with the Type 2 on top. Tyler, that's sick. I, I love these setups. I should rock the Type 2. I should rock the Type 2 Hexome combo. That's what I should do. Sorry, Jake Scrap, but I think that Type 2 is going to end up on a Hexome. Look, what are you going to do? And like I said, if you guys want to be featured in this Assignment Planet Globe, send me your bangers. One of the... I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just one of the things that I derive great joy from in the vape scene and in the vape space is seeing what other people vape. And I do the same thing at shows. I'm always like glancing at what people are vaping. Even when they're like trying to meet me and talk to me, I'm like, yeah, but what are you vaping? What's that mod? Oh, okay. I just want to know. I just like to know, you know, I know what I like. I like to know what you like. Shout out to Megs222 for being extra loud over there on, uh, on Twitch, keeping it real with the emoji chat. Appreciate you. It's fun, right? It's fun. Look, if it's not fun, we'll get rid of it, but I think it's fun. And you know what's funny, David, is I never got to try the GAR. I never got to try the GAR 21. 
And that's kind of a bummer. Wasn't that a Matt one? Didn't Matt release the gar? I should try to track down a gar and try it because all I've heard is uh, all I've heard is good things. All I've heard is good things about the gar. Here's the thing, Jake Scrapwood. Maybe, but it was working earlier today. <laughs> I picked it up and vaped it earlier today. I could have just put dead batteries in there. You know, who knows? Who knows what happened there? So yeah, like I said, Nick at GrimGreen.com, Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. You can get featured right here on this vlog live stream. Uh, I kind of want to do the retro vape. Holy cow. We're, we're running long. We're running long. It's almost been an hour already. We're running long. Let's get into a retro vape, but first I will go check in on those super chats. Running long, too late, can't do that. Where the mother truck did we leave off? George boy, oh, that's right, aye, George boy, aye. Rocco, that's very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, hey, love you. Hey, Rocco, fucking <laughs> love you, bro. Good to have you back. Thursdays were weird while you were away. Were they weird? That's, I'm always curious. Is it weird? <laughs> I always assume that people just forget about the vlog. I don't know what it is. I feel like some people are, are like relieved that there's not a vlog. Maybe that's a thing that's in my own head. <laughs> Appreciate that, Rocco. Hey, Rocco, love you, bro. Ray Buildable. Well, buddy, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a Ray Buildable super chat if I didn't do this. <laughs> This deli tray is unacceptable. Love you, bro. Feel better soon. Yo, yo. I'm hoping to get into feel better soon. That helped. You know, that helped. I could feel myself getting a little bit better when I quote some, when you quote some guar lyrics. This deli tray is unacceptable. What a great way to end a song. What a great way to end a song. If anybody knows what guar song that's from, you got some street cred in my book. Some hella street cred. Uh, DD damn it. DD damn it. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't say anything. You never have to. Here, you get a double fist bump with two mostly functioning pinkies. <sighs> Trying to get that pinky up. Two mostly functioning pinkies. Fishy. Yo, yo, Nick. Uh, just feels right now that you're black. Back. You and Kent. Ha Glad you and Kent had a stellar time. Missed you, bud. Hey, hey. Love you. Hey, fishy. Love you. It does feel good being back. It feels, as soon as I stepped back into my office, I was like, yes, okay. This is where I need to be. You know, I was thinking about it. And, I, you know, while I'm traveling, it, it's like a hard realization when you're traveling and you're, you're gone from YouTube for like a week and you're like, I haven't uploaded a video in a week. I haven't streamed in like two weeks. Is everybody going to forget about the vlog? <laughs> you know, is everybody... <laughs> It's tough. So I'm trying to get back, hit the ground running. I'm planning on doing nothing but editing crazy amounts of video tomorrow because I want to get the Hall of Vape video up. Uh, we're going to do the Switzerland vlog, I think is just going to be a patron thing for now. And then I'm going to do the Vapor Expo UK video, which I'm going to go on the record right now and say that Vapor Expo UK this year was really good, really fun. I had heard I mean, not nothing but bad things, but almost nothing but bad things about the Birmingham show because of the influx of disposables. And sure, there were a lot of disposable vendors there, but man, there were a lot of other vendors there, other liquid vendors, other hardware vendors. There was lots of builders. They had a whole like ohm zone area for all like this hobbyist stuff. It wasn't quite like a modders gallery type of thing, but it was definitely like hobby oriented. And it was like the busiest part of the convention was in this ohm zone. It was dope. It was super dope. I think the video will turn out great. And I hope the video reflects that. Frank, Frank Neal, my man, I missed you. Yo, yo, Nick and all the cool kids. Glad it's Thursday. Really missed the last couple of Thursdays. Glad we're back. Damn it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. That means a lot. I'm it's that's cool that you know how to you know how to make a grim green feel good frank and i appreciate you rory rory that's very gracious of you didn't say anything you didn't have to neither did patrick conquest or his pants he didn't say anything you didn't have to there's a fist bump just have it just accept it david donnelly uh whoa 
It's a Grim Green vlog. I uh, hope you don't mind the short clips edits on Twitter lately. I like keeping snippets of funny things I see. I love it. David, I love it. Anybody that wants to clip, edit anything from this vlog, any of my videos, and put them on other social medias, go bananas. When I see those little clips on Twitter, I, I definitely get a chuckle, David. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. There, have a fist bump. We got Rory again. Great to meet you at the expo, Nick. I thought you weren't going to be there, but luck was on my side. Uh, just good to say hello. Rory, absolute pleasure to meet you, Rory. I wasn't sure if I was going to be there. It was kind of a last minute thing. I'm really glad I got to Vapor Expo UK. And, uh, you know, I I'm just really glad. I a lot of the people I ran into there, everybody kind of said the same thing. Like, oh, I didn't realize you were going to be here. It's like, <laughs> it's your lucky day, bro. Good. Great to meet you, Rory. And, uh, Vapor Expo UK was a pretty good show, wasn't it? It was a pretty good show. I'm going to go with it was a pretty good show. SVK Vapes. Uh, welcome back, Nick. Get better, buddy. I love the Instagram stories from all over. Drinking the Golden Drop Classic for the welcome back vlog. Much love to you and the vape family. I'll toast to that, SVK Vapes. Golden Drop Classic is... I don't know. I've never really ranked like my top five or top ten favorite beers, but... The Golden Drop Classic is right there. It's it's in there. It's damn hell ass good. Kevin Chocolate, Kevin Chocolate, uh, can Megs please turn down the volume of a bit? Uh, I can't hear the vlog. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like if you can't hear my microphone, it's Megs's fault. Can we turn that down a little bit? Hey, Kevin Chocolate, love you, bro. Appreciate you. And then Fishy. Oh, by the way, nice shirt. <laughs> More seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I like these shirts a lot. They're great fitting shirts. I wore that other Sully Guitars shirt all over Switzerland. In fact, I brought this one with me, and it just kind of never made it out of the suitcase. And it was my first choice for the stream today. I like these shirts. I like that it's slightly off-center, and I like that it has that vintage like Pan Am look to it. Appreciate you, Fishy. Thank you so much, dude. Hell yeah, you guys. Hell yeah with the super chats. Well, now that we're running long, we might as well get into like some hot retro vaping action. Yeah, let's do that. All right, well here, is what we're gonna retro vape tonight. Maybe I'll pause and take a breath. I got some green gunk on the screw there that I tried to uh, clean off. This O-ring is kind of falling apart. It's a little bit on the jank side, but can it, does, can anybody spot this? Does anybody know what, what RDA this is? Just based on that, just based on the deck, don't, I'll start, I'll start building this, and then you can tell me Felix scored a Hoko E Viking edition with Atmazoo Steam Shell at Hall of Vape, and I'm in love. Do you like the Steam Shell? I, I also was able to acquire a Steam Shell, and I'm uh, I'm looking forward to building it. I think we might build it on the build stream on uh, coming up this Tuesday. Coming up this Tuesday. It's okay, Megs. I don't think you're too loud, except for I do think you're too loud always, you know. Anybody know? Anybody get this? Anybody know what RDA this is? Anybody know what RDA we're retro vaping right now? What is that? Ceramic on top? Single screw operation? Ceramic on top? Oh, Mike Sullivan. Oh, Cicero, I think, was first. I don't know. It doesn't matter who was first. Cicero was correct. It's the Hermetic. It's the Hermetic. And Mike Sullivan also with the Hermetic RDA. This is the Hermetic. Same to you, Kent. Same to you. Can someone quickly translate that? <laughs> can, so <laughs> can someone translate that? This is the Hermetic RDA. This was a Matt Cully, Suck My Mod creation. An RDA was a single coil banger that had airflow on from the bottom, kind of. It had this little cradle of airflow down there that came in through the front, and then it was like a single screw operation. So I'm gonna put something on the inside if I can open it. 
We're going to do a Twisted Timmy. We're going to do a Twisted Timmy 4-Core Alien. Because why not? NI-80, 4 wraps, 3 millimeter. I think it's going to work great in here. Let's change the camera to uh, the Fiddle Cam with a beer glass in the front. So, Fiddle Cam. Oh, no, no, we can't do Fiddle Cam. Fiddle Cam was choppy beyond words. Come on, you dumb machine. Focus on something. That's what I pay you to do. This was a uh, crazy easy installations. Crazy easy installations. Let's get that three millimeter tool. So I think this is a three millimeter. Hell yeah. I think I can put both leads right there. I'm just gonna kind of hold this coil in place. You know, something like that. It's a one screw operation. So if I have my fingers back here holding both leads, you can literally just boom. That's it. The coil's installed. That's the easiest deck in the history of easy decks. In fact, I could probably stand to push this back a little bit towards the posts but I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna leave it exactly where it is. Let's get these leads clipped. Let me get some cotton out here. And we're actually gonna put this Hermetic RDA on a mech mod that is so old and obscure that I don't even know what it is or, or what the name of it is. That's crazy, right? Here, let's... Uh can we push this down more? Can we get like really up close? This camera will focus. Come on, baby, give it to me. Focus. Uh, that, okay, that's maybe too close. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. That's where it has to go. I don't know why Fiddle Cam hates me right now. All right. Dicky Mo. It's the Dicky Mo rule. Put your hand over the lead. Put your finger over the lead so it doesn't go flying across your room. I'm all turned around on the subject these days. Probably cut that a little bit shorter. Probably cut that one a little bit shorter. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the build stream. I'm looking forward to Nick takes on and off his glasses 8,000 times. Nailed it. Nailed it. Point two, we're going to run this on a single 18650 mech mod. Sure, let's get this glowing. Point two, 13 watts. I'm just going to strum, pulse, strum, pulse. It's easy to do. You strum it and you pulse it. It's easy to do. Maybe we need a little bit more than 13 watts, huh? Probably be a good thing. Let's try 24 watts. You strum it and you pulse it. And, you know, sometimes, you know, with Twisted Timmy's coils, when coils are built uh, intricately and precisely, it doesn't require a lot of pulse and strum. I can usually get Twisted Timmy's coils glowing very evenly, very quickly, and that's the thing that makes me happy. Let's dig into some cotton biking. Cotton, if you're Australian. And I'm actually like... I know there's a lot going on in Australia right now, and I'm not going to address it tonight. I don't care to address it tonight. It's too depressing. I'm going to have a full video about things that are going on in Australia. A full video. A full, quick video about Australia and my advice to Australia. So expect that soon. But Australia, man. And everybody, like, at every show was giving their condolences to Sam 
Everybody that walked up and wanted to meet Sam was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry about Australia. And he's just like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm here to be away from that. Don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Is this too much cotton? Eat him. Eat him. Is this too much cotton? Yes, it is. I knew that it was too much cotton when I tore it off. But you know what they call me? Old, old Grim Green the Cotton Waster. I'm, 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 a, I'm a wire waster too. I'm a, I waste cotton and I waste wire. I don't know if anybody remembers my, my super easy fuse Clapton video from like 2016 where I, I wasted like 19 feet of wire building two really crappy Clapton coils. That was a lot of wasted wire. Pow like that, I guess. Pow like that, super easy, unbelievably easy. And I think we can thumb, pow, just like that. That was a good thumb. That was a good, that was like a textbook thumbing right there textbook thumbings hashtag textbook thumbings wicked boom great what liquid let's dig into the floss this is the first one i saw we're gonna go with floss let's throw some floss on here Ugh. let's play some ball here The airflow was underneath, like you saw in that little cradle. And uh, what was great is you could blay your liquid all over this, and you might have to deal with like a little bit of slurp, but it never flooded. It never leaked. It never went. It never went. Uh, it never went out your airflow. Yeah, good, good. Vape shops here in Australia are ready for going underground. Perfect, perfect. Keep selling vape gear keep selling and importing vape gear they can't arrest everybody this has to be a defiant rebellious showing from australia australia the, the australian vapors need to collectively just throw up their middle fingers and say fuck you we're gonna vape yeah there's some uh some vapors happening now I don't know, or can I click to the herky-jerky cam? No, it's still too herky-jerky, isn't it? Damn it all. I wish it wasn't so herky-jerky cam, because normally I, I like this cam. It's too herky-jerky, but while it's being herky-jerky, let's look at the mech mod I'm gonna put this on. That is the vaping monkey. You remember, do you remember, does anybody remember vaping monkey from way back in the day? Freaking vaping monkey way back in the day. This was a mech mod he released in 2015, maybe 2015, 2016. And it was, I don't even remember what it was called. Don't even remember what it was called. I don't even really remember using it. It's just a mech mod that I pulled out of my magic bag of, of retro vapes. And I thought, holy cow. I don't even remember the last time I used this. Like, I don't even remember reviewing this. I don't remember anything about this mech. It had that, uh, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna switch from Herky Jerky Cam, don't worry. It had this uh, awful double pin design, awful double pin design. Man, I hated this design. And this was even worse. This was a triple because you could screw in the, the, the black Ultim right there. And then you had to adjust these out so that your battery rested on it and there were no gaps. That was the most frustrating part of these type of mech mods were the gaps. Gaps everywhere. So let's do this how we would do it from back in the day. The first thing we're going to do, 
screw the RDA down to the top cap. 22 millimeters, man. You know, everything was 22 millimeters back in the day. Yeah, Vaping Monkey, uh, you can go back in time on my YouTube and find a video called uh, the E-Sig Inception trailer. And it was uh, Vaping Monkey, you know, he was like a creative dude. He was a creative. And uh, he had this idea for making a, a, a mock like Inception trailer, except it was about vaping and how you would go in your dreams and vape. And that's how you quit smoking. So that was obviously not far enough. So I'm going to back this out a little bit. We're going to try it again. Oh, yeah. Nice little button on there. It's a nice little button on that mech mod right there. Now, The hermetic cap ended up over here, and I need a drip tip because it's 810. Should we go with a uh, DHD nub? The fall colors on there? No, we'll go with bats. We'll go with DHD's bats. Did you ever gra gra grab a bat drip tip? See the bats in there? There's little bats. It was a Halloween drip tip, you know? All right, Hermetic. Boom! All right, listen, I'll be honest. That doesn't look half bad. The Hermetic on top of the Vaping Monkey Mech. These are both, when was the Hermetic? 2016? 2017? Yo, yo, Steve. Appreciate you, pimp. Happy to see you here. I don't know when this was from. I do not know. I couldn't tell you. I'd like to tell you, couldn't tell you. But it's it's firing. Let's do some dripping. Yeah, if you over drip, you may have to slurp through a little bit. I remember having to slurp through a little bit with the Hermetic, but airflow is honestly pretty nice. No whistle, pretty smooth, pretty swooshy. This Vapin' Monkey mech, you know, it's a 22 millimeter mech. These were just great. There was something about the way a 22 millimeter mech fits in your hand. You do the little Cali claw, you know, you fire it from underneath. Okay. Look, holy shit. The Hermetic's good. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that the Hermetic ruled? That was a really good vape. That was way better. 2018, 2018 Hermetic. Okay. 2018, the the mech mod is from far earlier than that. 22 millimeters, you know? That didn't stay the standard very long. We went to 24 millimeters really quickly, and now we're kind of circling back around to 22 millimeters, like a lot of the high-end stuff. Tripod 2 and the such as, 22 millimeters. I'm here for it. That's not a bad little setup. This is not a bad little setup. The flavor's good. Oh, the AC is blowing. Oh. oh, yeah. Blow on me. Blow on my face. It's a twisted Timmy coil, so I'm actually getting like a little bit of crackle from it. The floss flavor tastes delicious in the Hermetic. Who? Why, why is the Hermetic good? I don't think I gave this a very good review. Let me see. Blitz Enterprises and SMM's Hermetic RDA. Ah, I can't find my video. That's fine. Did I review the Hermetic RDA? I may have not reviewed ever reviewed the Hermetic RDA. Yeah, I had to review it, right? Equitas is in there. 
All these search results are terrible. Okay, let's fuck duck duck go. Let's go to YouTube. Whoops, not RT, eh? Yeah, the Hermetic RDA, SMM, four years ago. Oh, I called it a flavor banger. Okay. I did call it a flavor banger. That's the first thing I noticed is the flavor was really good. The first thing I noticed, the flavor's really good. The airflow's kind of nice and smooth. Oh, fuck yeah, MechMod Mike. You get a fist bump right there. MechMod Mike, hey Nick, can I get a fist bump? My 10 year vape anniversary is this month's month. All thanks to you, brother. Listen, it's not all thanks to me. I, I'm the first that's going to point out that you did all the hard work, Mike. You made the decision to stop smoking. You made the decision to get into vaping. You made the decision not to just get into vaping, but to like stick with it. You had to earn it. You know, you still kind of have to earn it. I mean, disposables have made it a lot easier, but when you make that switch in your head and you're like, I'm going to commit to this, you committed to it. You did all the hard work. I was just your cheerleader, man. I'm just, I'm just a cheerleader for you. Hell yeah, MechMod Mike. Okay, so MechMod Mike, what MechMod is this? You don't know. Your name is a lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I have no idea what the name of this MechMod is. But the Hermetic RDA slaps. Slaps like times a thousand. That is a flavor banger. And now that I'm experiencing crackle from a twisted Timmy coil inside of it, it's just elevating my experience. I might keep vaping this. I haven't had a good Mac in a while like set up and running. I think the last mech that I was like my regular mech was that Bogan mech that he released that was his tattoos. So cool. And it's a good deep crackle. It's a good deep rumble of a crackle. Dang, maybe I could put this on that, uh, on that Moo Mods. It's my favorite type of crackle. All right, Hermetic RDA. Who saw this coming? That's a great RDA. Hermetic stands the test of time, Matt Cully. You did a good job. Thanks for releasing the Hermetic. It still stands up. Like, really good. Like, I mean, as good as anything on my desk. Really good. You think you could still buy the Hermetic anywhere? <clears throat> Hermetic RDA. Looks like uh, it could still be uh, for sale in places that I can't talk about on YouTube. I might not even be able to say that it's for sale. But it looks like it is. Listen, if you have the means... I would, I would suggest the Hermetic RDA is like a throwback. I don't know what, what is this mech mod, Brian? I do not know. It, uh, it's like a 2016 era mech. There was a dude back in the day. That was his logo. CJ. CJ Catchler. I can never pronounce his last name. CJ the Vaping Monkey. This was his logo. His little monkey with a little spit curl hairdo. And he just released a mech mod. And he didn't make very many of them. And I ended up with one. And it's something I've like, I've never really used. I never really rocked this mech mod for any significant amount of time because of the double pins on top. That bothered me. It does have a locking feature. You can, you know, thread this down and it covers the button, keeps it from firing, thread this up, boom. And it's got a soft, squishy little press on the bottom. Bustin'. Do you hear the crackles happening? Holy shit, that's good. All right. Well, chances are that's going to be in my next uh, What I've Been Vaping segment. 
because I have a feeling it's just going to stick around. Damn. Damn good. Uh, what's next on my list? Oh, that's right. All right. Well, before we get to any uh, hot haul action, I'm going to check in on the Super Chats. We're, we're going to talk about some news. We're going to talk about 50, about 15 minutes of news. Let's see, Super Chats. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <sighs> okay. Breathe. Just <sighs> breathe. Uh, oh, no, we're good. We ended up with fishy. All right. You know what time that means. There's been uh, there's been some nonsense going on, you guys. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is we'll get the sinister countdown going. Uh, when we landed in Sweden, uh, or when we took the train to Sweden, rather, when we got off on the train st station in Sweden, there was the duty-free shop, or I'm sorry, the airport, the, the Zurich airport, there was a duty-free shop, and I bought a bunch of snooze, but they had a bunch of advertisements like this all over the place, advertising pouches, they had views, they had Icos in there, and they were all allowed to say 99% less toxicants. Move on to nicotine pouches. They're allowed to advertise like the true harm reduction health effects of products it said the same thing on the views. I don't know why I didn't get a picture of it. Said the same thing on the views, said the same thing on all the general Swedish snooze. Unlike America and unlike Canada and unlike Australia, many European countries can put this, on, like Velo can put this on all of their advertisements. I just love the shit out of that. When we got off on the Zurich train station, there was a huge billboard for what looked like a, a mod or something. I don't know. I'm sure it was a heat not burn, but it said the same thing. 95% less harmful than burning cigarettes. Switch now. Try the thingy my deal. Huge, gigantic billboards for harm reduction. I was blown away. Com completely blown away. Completely, 100%ly blown away. Uh, it was kind of unbelievable. And it's just such a stark contrast to what's going on in places like the United States and uh, Australia and uh, and Canada. Uh, what was that, Mitch Miller? F the FDA. That's right. We're going to F the FDA. Uh, additionally, here's some news. Here's some news that might make people smile. Or it might be the cusp of something way worse than we can ever imagine. But our favorite leader of the campaign for tobacco-free kids, Matt Myers, is retiring from campaign for tobacco-free kids. Damn it. He never got to see his vision fulfilled. In 2006, he predicted if you had a product that addicted 45 million people and killed none of them, I would take that deal. Would you take that deal, Matt? Did you take that deal, Matt? then you'd have coffee. I have to believe that if the marketplace incentives were such that over time someone could devise a product that would give the same satisfaction as tobacco, wow, but didn't kill them, people would flock to it. Matt Myers, Bloomberg News in 2006 basically predicted vaping. And then when vaping came, he did not take that deal. He, he did not take that deal. Let's see what the American Vapor Manufacturers Association had to say about Matt Myers retirement. Ah, statement on the appalling legacy of Matthew Myers and the disgraceful parade of prohibition zealots who have obstructed consumer driven innovation that helps ordinary people quit cigarettes. Few can match the sheer dishonesty and indifference to human suffering as Matthew Myers. Despite years of warnings from leading thinkers in the field and the manifest experience of millions of Americans, Myers continually, continuously pushed demonstrable falsehoods about the safety and efficacy of nicotine vaping while lining his own pockets with the lavish patronage of, mani of a maniacal billionaire. And look, AVM's not pulling any punches right here. His ignoble work contributed to the outlawing of 99% of vaping products that Americans rely on to quit smoking. The exploding black market that resulted and countless people driven back to cigarettes or deterred from quitting thanks to his deceitful scaremongering. Among the despicable litany of public health charlatans in American history, it is hard to name any whose quackery drew such a direct line to the immersation of so many of our fellow citizens. Like those frauds of the past, his legacy deserves to be one of shame, remembered as an abject lesson for the peril that results when hubris and authoritarianism run wild with un 
<laughs> unaccountable cash and a complacent news media. Damn, Allison. Damn. Damn. So I guess we say, smell you later. Good riddance to Matt Myers. Who knows who's going to take his place? Probably somebody hired by Mike Bloomberg to be possibly even more hard line, hard line of a prohibitionist than Matt Myers was. Unfreaking believable. Uh, and now if we wanted to switch gears, yeah, I was kind of thinking something very similar, Barbara, but I didn't want to say it out loud. I could imagine Myers going to work for a tobacco company, like being a consultant of some sort or sitting on the board of like Bloomberg's new pharmaceutical vape, Hale. Remember that? Remember Hale? That's still coming out. Still coming out. I could see that happening. I could see that happening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking too much and my, uh, the phlegm is starting to really, really pile up. Now, if we switch gears to uh, the good old government of UK, you know how in America, FDA just keeps banning vapes and they just rejected another, what was it, 60,000 60, something PMTA applications for uh, not being able to prove that they're appropriate for the protection of public health? Yeah, so you know how we have that in America and how and also in America we have a vape mail ban that uh, uh, John Cornyn from Texas authored and snuck into an omnibus bill that had to vote yes on. So we boom, we got a vape mail ban. That's what's happening in America. In the UK, they're giving out free e-cigarettes to anybody, any smokers that want them. And not just that, the Royal Mail in the UK, free vapes to e-cigarette users if they recycle their used ones through the Royal Mail. So in the UK, if you buy a pod system or a disposable or something like that and your battery dies or your pod is done and empty, you can, for no charge, I believe no charge, use the official UK Royal Mail system to mail your batteries back to be recycled and you get a free e-cig in return for being so, you know, planet climate conscious because we're all worried about batteries. Rightfully so we're worried about batteries. You can just send them back. Royal Mail's like, yeah, we'll, we'll ship vape gear. Of course we'll ship vape gear. You can send us back your batteries and we'll deliver them and they'll get recycled and you get a free e-cig. That's unbelievable to me. What, what a wonderland of harm reduction the UK is turning into. I really hope the UK goes, you know, just over the top defending vaping uh, in front of the World Health Organization this November at COP10. I kind of can't wait. This was another one of those things that was, I'm reading it and I'm thinking, is this even real life? We have a vape mail ban in the United States, but in the UK, they're like encouraging you <laughs> to mail vapes to recycle the batteries. That's something that completely makes sense. You know, you wanna, you wanna, you're worried about battery waste from disposables? Damn right, okay. How about we set up a scheme where you can uh, mail them back for free and we'll recycle them? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That actually, yeah, that actually uh, makes a lot of sense. What are we doing in the U.S.? Oh, we're just gonna try. We're just gonna try to ban them because that's what's happening in the United States of America. In fact, let me get to this. Nope. How about this? FDA issues important alert to seize illegal vapes. Don't worry, this is not the first time that FDA has issued an important alert to seize illegal vapes. No one should stop, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No one should stop. FDA is basically playing regulatory whack-a-mole. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued an important alert that states that the regulatory agency will now detain new tobacco products such as e-cigarettes without marketing authorization at the border. The companies impacted would include all importers, manufacturers, and transporters of vaping product brands such as Elf Bar, EB Design, Eon Smoke, Escobar, and Stick that are on the agency's 
red list. So FDA isn't stopping all vapes at the border. FDA isn't stopping all disposables at the border. FDA is stopping just a few brands. Looks like six, five brands that are on their red alert list. And this is going to do something. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to do much because here, here's the thing, FDA. Here's the thing. You, you can stop certain brands at the border. You can try to go after everybody importing elf bars because elf bars happen to be the most disposable vape right now. But I was just in the United Kingdom for Vapor Expo UK where there was, I, I don't know, how do you think? 200, at least, maybe 150, 200 completely brand new disposable brands with, with more popping up literally week after week after week after week. And there's thousands and thousands of different disposable brands. Those aren't going to get stopped at the border. But Elf Bar, got to stop Elf Bar, got to stop Esco Bar. This is whack-a-mole. It's essentially whack-a-mole. They're just trying to go after Elf Bar and it makes no sense because sure, stop Elf Bars at the border. Stop them from being imported. You know what's gonna take the place of Elf Bars being stopped at the border? Literally dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of other brands of disposable vapes from China. And FDA caused this. Disposable vapes would not exist if FDA hadn't banned all flavored pods. They created this. And now they're trying to stop the illicit market by selectively enforcing on just certain brands at the border. This will be totally successful. This, <laughs> this will be totally successful. They say that they can detain boxes without physical examination. It says divisions may detain without physical examination the tobacco products identified on the red list. If the division is not sure whether tobacco product is the same product as the one identified on the red list, the division could consult the Center for Tobacco Products. I see this going really poorly and not being implemented very well. And I feel just in my gut that this is more of a, well, if we put this out there that we're enforcing and we're going to be confiscating imports, then that will scare people and they'll just stop importing. Has that ever worked, FDA? I remember when they were stopping vapes at the border and I still got all my orders. <laughs> I still got mountains of pod systems into America. I still got mountains of e-liquids into America. So... Good on you, FDA. At least you're uh, at least you're putting up the appearance that you're trying to do something without actually doing anything, and you're just kind of squandering money and resources trying to play whack-a-mole with certain brands at the border. Cool, FDA. Great. What a great thing for public health. Spectacular. Spectacular. Okay, we got two minutes left. One real quick thing. Avail Vapor. Uh, is going to the Supreme Court, baby. Avail Vapor wants to take its battle with the US FDA to the Supreme Court. And this isn't a lawsuit about like the efficacy of e-cigarettes or science or anything like that. This is purely trying to show judges how terrible the FDA regulatory process is and how you know, changing of the goalposts there were and how much, oh, your PMTAs are in, sorry, we forgot to tell you, you needed this study and this study and this study and this study and that's why you're getting denied. If this goes all the way to the Supreme Court, which I think vaping in America is going to be decided by the courts, if this goes all the way to the Supreme Court, that could be a tremendous thing. And the last thing that I'm not gonna read is uh, this from Filter Magazine, Martin Cullip. Follow him on Twitter. He's a great dude. Rochelle Walensky is leaving CDC. This is a scathing, scathing article about 
all of the balls that were dropped by Rochelle Walensky, including things like COVID-19 messaging, including things like E-Valley. We can never forget, and I posted this on Twitter, that the CDC used dead teenagers vaping illicit THC cartridges to drum up a moral panic around nicotine vaping. And that is just, what is wrong with you? Wow, that's low. That's a, that's, that's low. That's a really low blow. So Rochelle Walensky is out. Who knows who will get, but I shouldn't even say it out loud, but could they be worse than who's in charge of CDC right now? It's like, you know, CDC once upon a time was like a pretty respected uh, organization, you know? I don't even need to do a show of hands who here just no longer trust CDC, who here just can no longer trust World Health Organization because of the lies they tell about vaping. They're eroding their credibility and in a severe level, and I don't even think they realize it. The last thing I wanted to throw out here in the news and advocacy was uh, just real quickly. Uh, thank you, Matt Sinister. Rest in peace, Matt Sinister. The last thing I wanted to throw up here during the news and advocacy segment is uh, the, the Winston man, Dave Gorlitz. He was the Winston man for a really, really long time. And uh, he quit smoking uh, and started vaping and became like a, a little bit of like a vape uh, hero, a little bit of a vape celebrity. It's like, ooh, Dave Gorlitz, the Winston man, not the Marlboro man, the Winston man, cowboy hats and jeans, you know, and riding a horse with your cigarette, you know, Winston man, Dave Gorlitz, he basically predicted the future of vaping in 2014. And every time I read this, it completely blows my mind. I'm sorry for the quality of it. It looks like a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot. But Dave Gorlitz posted this on his Facebook, August 2014. With the script written in how the FDA will regulate e-cigs, e-liquids, and PVs, that's right, we used to call vapes PVs. It stood for personal vaporizer. And it was uh, the nomenclature that like everybody used. We all called them PVs for some reason. We don't do that anymore. We don't do that anymore. PVs watch the application process take many years to approve as well as too expensive. It will cost small e-cig and vaping community millions send in all the public written comments, but that will not change the outcome. If you've noticed lately, all the positive reports that have been put out regarding the safety of vaping is the, strate is the strategy to get public opinion to be more favorable now that big tobacco will become the e-cig monopoly they patiently have been waiting for. Yeah. The stage has been set, the die is cast, the outcome planned. And our friends in anti-tobacco are smirking and smiling as they continue getting their funding. The big tobacco companies grow exponentially with e-cigs and traditional tobacco. The government creates the illusion that they've helped with transparency in public health and that children will be protected and taxes raised for the sake of public. Win, win, win. The smoker and tobacco user once again thrown under the bus, all the while will be looked upon as outcasts, whether they smoke or vape. Dave Gorlitz predicting this in 2014. And that's, that's essentially what just happened. That's essentially what just happened. I wish Dave Gorlitz was wrong. Turns out that the Winston man can see the future. Maybe it was all the cigarettes. Maybe that actually helped him. Uh, yeah, Leah, Leah King, uh, I, I, I have, I've just touched on Australia. I'm planning on doing an Australia video that's going to be like a five minute Australia banger video that can be easily watched and shared around uh, with what's going on, what my advice would be and things like that. Australia's getting uh, 
double butt fucked. You know, pardon my French, but they're getting double butt fucked. It's ba- vaping's basically getting double banned in Australia. They're like, well, the first ban created a big black market, so the solution should be double ban it. Double ban it. Do you know in Australia, if you're caught importing liquid nicotine, you could face two years in prison. But if you're caught importing cannabis, you get no years in prison. Vaping nicotine carries a harsher sentence and a harsher fine than cannabis, than weed. What is wrong with this picture? I, I, my heart goes out to Australia uh, in a severe, severe way. Uh, I don't think it's over. I don't, I, don't think, uh, I don't think vaping is over in Australia, but it is going to suck for a while, just like it sucks right now in America. But, but things are changing in America. We've got lawsuits going on. We've got Matt Myers leaving. We've got Rochelle Walensky leaving. We've got uh, the Reagan Udall report about FDA. There's a lot going on. Lots going on. All right. Uh, I'm glad we kind of basically stuck to 15 minutes there. We kind of basically stuck to 15 minutes there. Here's one thing that's not news and advocacy related, but it was just a funny thing I kept seeing in Switzerland. Kent and I got our flight turned around on the way to Birmingham. We'd been in the air for about an hour. And then we noticed a big dip and a huge turnaround and the captain comes on and says, oh, we're turning back around and we're going to Zurich airport. There's a, uh, you know, a a problem with the plane and it would be unsafe for us to land in Birmingham. So we're going right back to Zurich so we can land safely. I said, okay, that's fine. Safety first, right? Land in Zurich, rebook your flights, go get a hotel, spend the night, get up early again, go back to the airport, fly to Birmingham. It was a whole big deal. But while we were in the Zurich airport, I kept seeing this big billboard everywhere. Just advertisement for the Zurich airport. I know she's holding a little chocolate, but I can't help but see a vape in her hand. Every time, <laughs> every time I walk past this, I was like, Kent, does it look like she's holding like a little Caliburn cocoa in her hand? And she's about to take like a sneaky stealth vape? Couldn't unsee it. I know it's chocolate. Looks like a little Cali burn, doesn't it? Looks like a weird little Cali burn, a weird little Swiss Cali burn. All right, you guys. Uh, now that we're done with news and advocacy, and I'll put links in the description to literally everything I talked about, including the GoFundMe at the beginning. Yes, Michael Redfern, he gets it. He gets it. Do not comply. Do not comply. Let's get in. Let's first, let's open some mail and then we'll get into the whole haul portion of it. Let's go. I think I have some pickles here. Whoo. Even though my mail's closer, I almost didn't make it back in time. Uh, So first I'm going to go through some mail that I got and then we're going to get into the hall of vape and UK show, you know, items. Uh, It's a lot of liquids. There's one like really cool Boro in there. There's some, uh, well, we'll keep that as a surprise. We'll keep it as a surprise. Right on FedEx. Well done. Shout out to FedEx. Look Look at the care. Look at the gentle, gentle handling of packages from Federal Express. Just love it. Just love it. Thank you. Great. It's like, it almost looks like they did it on purpose. Unbelievable, you know? Unbelievable. Oh, yay. 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 Woo. Boom. The Pulse 3. Let's get this open. Let's go, Pulse 3. Uh, I hit up Tony B on Instagram uh, and just, you know, I, I never, ever, ever, ever assume that I'm going to receive something in the mail. If I see a new device or something on the interwebs, I go, oop, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to hit up and see if I can get one of those to review. Hit up Tony B. He said, absolutely. I'll get you a Pulse 3. 
Got a pulse three squonk. Ooh, that's a small little squonking window right there, Tony B. That is a small little squonk window right there, buddy. Yeah. Boosh. There's the pulse three in blue. My, my only thing right now is that is a real small squonky window. This is not meant for anybody that has uh, longer fingernails. I'm thinking of my wife. She would never be able to use this, but it's a slick little profile. It's a nice little hand feel. It has a removable panel on the back so you can pop your battery out easier. And that's smart. I wish the billet boxes had that. Square bottle. Yep. Rubber fill port on top. Smart. It's nice. All right, Tony B. Sick. Well, we'll get that up and running soon. Pulse 3, Tony B. Stoked. Fuck yeah, Tony B. Hell yeah, Tony B. Did anybody pick up the Pulse 3? Let's put this back in here. It, you know, it's got that, you know, sort of plasticky, uh, you know, feel that, that like I don't know I don't want to say I've come to expect but it's de Paul, Tony B definitely has a certain vibe and he likes that uh, he likes that clear plastic to be fair these doors are thick the whole thing feels incredibly sturdy anyway pulse three sweet add that to the review queue This feels like a t-shirt. This feels like apparel on the inside. Yeah, someone was playing football at FedEx. Someone was playing rugby at FedEx. It is a t-shirt. Black crew tee. Is this something I ordered? This was from somebody but there's no note. This is from somebody, but there's no note. Oh, this is a Patrick Conquest t-shirt. Yes, this was my order. I did order this. I got the bird brain t-shirt. Do you see how it's like a face with birds in the eyeball, uh, eyeball holes and then the birds holding the eyeball? This was a, I bought this. From Patrick Conquest T-shirt store, uh, I just like weird, fucked up art, and uh, the 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 way that this looked, I love that it's printed crooked, like the craziest crooked possible. The way that this looked reminded me of like uh, Dave Brocky art, the singer of Guar. Dave Brocky, also known as Odorous Urungus, this deli tray is unacceptable. He did a lot of weird, messed up art like this, and it just appeals to me. It's like everything looks grody. Everything looks grody and drippy. And it's just like fucking weird ass art. Like, why would you do that? And then you go, what do you mean? Why would you do that? It's art. Look how incorrectly that's printed on there too. It's like completely crooked. A hundred percently crooked. Fuck yeah, t-shirt. Fuck yeah, t-shirt. And then, yeah, I knew it. Here, I'm going to. I, I'm going to cover up your uh, the, the, your address. This is my mailing address, so I can show that. I just don't want the return address to be on here from uh, from FaceMeet. You see that right down there? Blue pickle, dry oatmeal. Fuck yeah, FaceMeet. Fuck yeah, FaceMeet. I, I, there, I'm 100% sure there's pickles in here now. 8,000% sure there's pickles in here. I asked just casually. I don't know why the inside of Face Meets package. There's got to be a better way to say that. Got to be a better way to say that. The inside of Face Meets packages always smell great. Like that's what the inside of his house smells like. And maybe that's creepy that I smell these, but kind of don't care. 
Oh, wait, there's beer. There be beer in here too, maybe. Lagunitas The Waldos Special Ale Triple IPA. Nicely done. Look at that. We got a beer for next week. Now I can delay my beer shopping by one week. This is an 11 percenter. 2023 highly limited release. Okay. I, I, I feel very special now having that face meet. Thank you. And lastly, vacuum sealed. We should eat one of these right now, right? It survived. Thank God FedEx didn't play rugby with this. Thank the maker. Yep, smells good. Just no way around it. Oh my God. So I, is everybody familiar with the idea of Kool-Aid pickles? We had Kool-Aid pickles on this vlog before, right? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I may have said that jangles. I may have said that. And I realized like, as it was coming out of my mouth, there's probably a better way to say that, but the inside of face meets package always smells good. These are, these are blue Raz Kool-Aid pickles, blue Raz Kool-Aid pickles. We had Kool-Aid pickles uh, in cherry, like tropical punch cherry flavor. And now we have some blue Raz pickles. We should definitely eat one, right? This will probably be really good for my, uh, for my cold at the moment. You know, they used to prescribe blue Raz pickles back in the day. Of course I'm joking, that makes no sense. See if I can get this open. I brought paper towels in here specifically for the purpose of consuming blue Raz pickles. And apparently, I, look, I wasn't hip to 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 Kool Aid pickles before uh, I came. You know, before Face Me drew me to their attention. But apparently it's a thing. It's like a, a thing. Uh, Frank, Frank was telling me that in, uh, in, in the South, in Mississippi, they just, uh, you know, you could go to like a, a sporting event and get Kool-Aid pickles, like at a place, like at a thing, like you just buy them. And I thought, how, I've never heard of this before. How can they be so popular? How can they be good? A, how can they be good? Okay, this might require some. Uh... This might require some fancy footwork here. I'm going to try not to cut myself open doing it. Yeah, Zagadaga. Here we go. Oh, I can smell them. I can smell them. And here's the thing. Kool-Aid pickles are shockingly good. Like crazily good. Like it's one of those like, why is it so good? What was that face meat? That's right. Dry oatmeal. Okay, why can't I open this yet? Oh, it's too, ta it's taped. You made it too strong face meat. You made it too strong. Yeah, let's go. I want to eat, it's like so bad, I want to eat one of these. Okay, let's see if we can open it now. <gasps> oh, okay. Maybe it's still taped or maybe I'm just not strong enough. Trust me, this is gonna be worth it. Okay, it appears the tape is all removed. So if I can't open this, 
I'm just a wuss. Well, turns out I'm just a wuss. Does that help? No, it's not vacuum locked, is it? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Bottoms up. Uh, is it gross if I use my tweezers to pick it out? Is that gross? Just tell me if that's gross or not. Holy shit, they're blue, dude. This is a blue pickle. This is a straight up blue, blue ass pickle. You want to see it on up close cam? I think that's a good idea. Would you just look at that? That is a blue Raz Kool Aid pickle from Face Meat. We're going to try it. Uh, and to be fair, I mean, these are the, the regular Kool Aid pickles are good. Just good. I don't know what it is. It's like eating sweet and sour sauce or something. It's delicious. So here we go. Cheers. Let's try one. I'm going to mute it for frames. Why is this good? This is good. This is just straight up good. They're better when they're colder, like fresh out of the fridge. You get a little bit more crispy bite to it. But damn it, the blue ras pickle for the win. I'll mute myself. Damn, damn, damn hell ass good. That's good. That's really, I don't know if I like them more than the regular, regular, you know, regular Kool-Aid pickles. I, I really like these. I really like these blue Raz pickles. Shit, yeah. In fact, I'm going to go put these in the fridge. I'm going to go put these in the fridge. Just uh, give me one sec here. Sorry that that was so insanely loud. I'll be right back. I'm going to put these in the fridge.
Look, I used that time for a bio break as well. You can't get mad at me. And I feel terrible because I go out there, I show Pickle the, the pickles, you know, I show Pickle the pickles, we're like, whoa, blue ass pickles. And Murphy's out there just waiting, just waiting to play. And as soon as I step out there, he's just like, ah, let's play. He starts running around, like jumping and playing. He's like, let's play. I'm like, Murphy, I, I can't, I can't play with you right now. I can't. I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry. I feel bad. It's terrible when you're like, you, you see that look of sad disappointment on your dog's face. It sucks. But damn, that blue raz pickle was the bomb.com. I'm looking forward to eating more tonight. More tonight. And here's the thing. Of course I wash my hands. And the next time I go to wash my hands, I need to take the herky jerky camera with me. I need to take the herky jerky camera with me and prove that I wash my hands. Prove it. The herky jerky cam isn't always herky jerky cam. Sometimes it works really, really good. All right, so let's start. Uh, you know, let's get into the hall of vape stuff. Let's get into my to the to the to the hall. It's six thirty. We got plenty of time. We still are going to do a very random liquid tasting. I think we're going to actually do the very random liquid tasting with a cabello. I'm a I'm a firm hand believer in washing of hands, Michael firm hand washing believer even before covid i would always wash my hands everywhere i went because i spent a lot of my youth not washing my hands you know you're a little kid and i'd like go pee and then you know i'd turn on the water and like rattle the soap dish and then turn off the water wait a second and then leave and i'm like why do, why do dumb kids do that why do kids do that you can't tell me that you didn't do that when you were a kid. I did that when I was a kid. Didn't make any sense. And when I got to be a little bit older, I thought, why do I bother going through the process of fake washing my hands in case someone's listening when I could just actually wash my hands and accomplish actually washing my hands? It's pretty dumb. It's a pretty dumb kid thing to do. So I actually don't know what's in here. This was just, uh, oh yeah, okay, there's, so there's some things. There's some things. Uh, the first thing you're gonna see out of the, uh, was there super chats? Did I miss some super chats? So we get, should we, go, should we go check on the super chats real quick before we get into this? Let's just pause real quick and let's, let's read some super chats here. Ayo! Okay. I'm sorry if it's skipping for anybody. YouTube is giving me an error. It says it's not receiving enough video data to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers may experience buffering. But now it says that it's fine. I have no idea here. Let's do this. That might help. Let's do this. That might help. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. Uh, let me read some of these super chats. Oh my God, they all disappeared. Hang on. Oh my God, they all disappeared. All the super chats disappeared. Gone. Oh no, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Mums. Mums der Dumpfer. Uh, did you fix the O-ring that you broke at Hall of Vape? I tried to fix it, but it wasn't possible to find one that fit. But it was nice to see you again. Mums, it was great to see you again. And no, I did not fix the O-ring. <laughs> I had a whole plan of if if Monarchy Poland didn't have a black P-22, I, ha I brought a black recoil that I was just going to put on this and vape it at Hall of Vape. And I got out my recoil and I was about to build it and I was about to like put it on here and both O-rings just shredded completely off because, you know, hashtag recoil life. We we tried, mums, we tried. We tried to find, we went through multiple O-rings. Too tight, too loose, too tight, too loose, too tight. Couldn't do it. But mums, I appreciate that you were there to help me with that. Hope you're doing well. Dave Crow, shout out to Chud and Orange Hat Justin. 
Michigan Vapors. Sure, we're shouting out Chud on behalf of Dave Crow and Orange Hat Justin up there in Michigan. I think Michigan has a flavor ban right now. I think they do. Patrick Conquest and his pants. Appreciate you, pimp. Frank Neal, you can make Kool-Aid pickles from any flavor you like. See, that's what I was thinking. I was, you think lemon lime Kool-Aid pickles would be good? Did you ever drink lemon lime Kool-Aid? Lemon lime Kool-Aid ruled. Oh God, I just inserted an ad. I'm sorry. Ugh, that was gross. YouTube tricked me. YouTube tricked me into putting an ad in my stream. Jerks. Let's make some lemon lime uh, Kool-Aid pickles, Frank Neal. That's next. Mallory Gates, that's very gracious of you. Uh, Brian King bragging about handing out more MDOs to 99% of vaping at the e-cig summit. Uh, same time saying there is 23 po products that got MGOs. This is not a ban for open vaping devices. Zero items have an MGO. Yeah, the, the, the I was going to try to talk about the e-cig summit during news and advocacy, but we literally just ran out of time. If I could spend like an hour doing advocacy, uh, no one would watch it. Uh, and then I could talk about the eSig Summit. But the eSig Summit happened in Washington, D.C. this last week. Literally everybody was there. Brian King, the director of our Center for Tobacco Products, was there. And he had a big slide on the screen that's like, and, he, and while he's saying, no, this isn't a ban. This isn't a de facto flavor ban. This isn't an open system flavor ban. See, we've approved 23 products and denied like 10 million but this isn't a ban, but we've denied 10 million products, but it isn't a ban. See, we've approved 23 products, 23 really old outdated products that nobody uses from the biggest of the big tobacco companies. Just like Dave Gorlitz said, just like Dave Gorlitz said. E-Sig Summit, that was a thing. Did I, did you have to watch an ad? I'm sorry, that was messed up. That was messed up, and I'm sorry. And I don't know why. Maybe uh, someone's hogging all my bandwidth. Maybe I have too many tabs open. Hermetic RDA, don't need that open anymore. Don't need that open anymore. Maybe it's my fault. Yeah, uh, I was shocked. I was going to try to put together a whole video about the eSig Summit, but it's, it's like it's, there's so much that went on. I don't know if I'd even be able to recap it. Maybe I could have some people that were on the e that were at the eSig Summit come on a stream. We could do a live stream, talk about eSig Summit. But yeah, it's it's like there's no accountability with Brian King. He just like he went on the AVM stream and says things and goes, "Oh no, yeah, markedly less risk, uh, good for public health." And then FDA turns around and goes, "Well, we've denied another six million." Uh, PMTAs and we're going to enforce on disposables at the border, but no, no, this isn't a ban. E-cigs are good for public health. Just the only e-cigs that are good for public health are the e-cigs that help our friends. It's the e-cigs that help out big tobacco. Those are the e-cigs that are good for public health. The ones that, that we have control of. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He was never a smoker. He'll just fucking let people die just to, just to, you know, further his own weird ass agenda makes me insane okay now let's get into this a this is a disposable i brought this disposable home from the vapor expo uk in fact i may just open this right now uh, i was kind of impressed with these disposables they're called easy and uh these won best overall disposable at the show I don't use disposables. I don't use disposables like a, as a regular vape. It's more of like a, I'm just fascinated to see how they vape and what other people are vaping. This is an orange pineapple. It's just an easy bar and it won best disposable at the UK show. Surprised. Uh, this was, uh, does anybody remember Vapor Rizzo? These are the Rizzo brothers. <whistles> they did up the easy bar. Yeah, this disposable vapes exponentially better than this film one. <clears throat> it's a little intense, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's a little intense. 20 milligram orange pineapple. 
there, there was, look, there was like thousands of disposables there. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of disposables. Thousands of disposables. Film was there with this little lemon lime disposable. And I was like, oh, lemon lime disposable. That sounds nice. Vape's bad. I first vaped this and I was like, are disposables getting worse? Like this vapes poorly. This vapes like, you know, like a, like a 2012, like clearomizer vape. The airflow is bad. Not good. It's just bad. Uh, but I thought the Easy Bar vaped really good, and I like these dudes. And so uh, I, I wanted to swipe one that was, uh, you know, the number one, the the winning, uh, the winning disposable voted best disposable at the show. It's pretty good. Like the flavor is busting, busting. So that's first things first. What else is in here? Oh yeah, I got some Nick salts. I just brought home a few Nick salts because this company had a cherry cola. They had a cherry cola flavor. Wick salts, really good cherry cola. Sam and I, Bogan and I were talking about this. Oh, it's 18 milligram. Freaking perfect, mate. Freaking perfect, mate. Sam and I were talking about our mutual love of, uh, of cherry. Like anything cherry, cherry colas, cherry everything, cherry, cherry. We just love it. And so he was going around looking for cherry cola flavors and he would report back to me. And so we went to this booth and uh, they, 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 they gave us a bunch of uh, cherry cola salts in 18. And that's a good Nick level, but I don't generally vape salts. They just hit me weird and sideways. Like even this hits me a little bit weird and sideways. Salts just hit me weird. I don't like the way uh, they. I don't like the way they hit me. Yeah, Vapor Rizzo rules. I love the Rizzo brothers. They're just dope people, and they give a shit. I like them. That's why I kind of wanted to. You know, I'm I'm stoked that they won. I'm stoked that they won first place. Uh, okay, yeah. So this was just, just yeah, uncommon. I took these with me to vape them there. And then I didn't end up vaping all of them. It's the tobacco and it's the, it's the, uh, you know, the other one. Come on. The other one. What else? But don't worry, there's more. Okay, so this, this is a gift. This is a gift. For, I'm going to try to make this a gift for my patrons. I'm going to try to make this a gift for my patrons because, uh, remember, uh, Amortorium Raspberry Ripple. Amortorium Raspberry Ripple. It's like favorite liquid of all time. No, it's not my favorite liquid of all time. It just rules. The flavor rules. They don't exist anymore. The company doesn't exist anymore. But if you ask nicely, I could still get some. I, I could still get some. And so not only did I get some Raspberry Ripple, which I think is in the other box, but he, he gave me two 60 mil bottles of Raspberry Ripple Glamour from Amortorium E-Liquids Concentrates. So this can make like a gallon of E-Liquid. If someone has PG, VG, and Nick, we could make a shit ton of Glamour. So I'm wondering, maybe I can send this to Tim, Advocate for Liberty. Maybe I could send this to Sifu Mustache and he could whip up a bunch of glamour so we could all taste it, you know? Like patrons obviously could taste it just cuz I've been raving about it for so long. I'd like to I'd like to do that cuz I have a few bottles and I'd like to use this concentrate to make a bunch to send to people. I think that would be sick cuz I would love for people to taste how great of a liquid this was while it existed in the world. So Thank you to Amortorium uh, and Raspberry Ripple. Concentrates. Two 60 mil bottles of 9% concentrate mix. This can, like I said, this can become a lot of e-liquid. Stoked. Stoked. I'm not going to have enough room. Uh, Nevox. Feeling A1s. Got them. Reviewing them. 
It's already it's already in process. What a great pod. Uh, I got the I got the black P22. Black P22 already in use. Black P22 already in use. I don't know why I'm I'm going to put this all back in this box. I also got ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. You can't see that. Let's let's go to up close cam. Because this is dope. This is the dope. Monarchy Poland. Look at that custom grim green cap. What is it though? Oh, it's just a custom MV Boro Bridge on the inside that looks so sick. I hope I can get a decent shot of this. It's like uh, custom engraved. Shout out to Monarchy Poland. Matt Stainless Matt. It's got their crowns across the thing. It's got my big ass Grim Green logo on there. And it's the MV. Custom Grim Green MV, baby. Boom. Boom. Sick. So sick. So sick. So sick. I loved the MV before, and then I showed up, and they had the tiny special little gift for me, and I just, you know, monarchy. They're just so great. They're just so nice. I have unflavored nicotine base already mixed at my shop. Earn. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's whip up a bunch of it whip up a bunch of it and just send it out. We're going to try. We're going to try. So I got that. And that's sick. Uh, there's also this, which is a pre-release of the, uh, the Ponty. It's a stubby tank. Someone else did another stubby tank. but I believe it is a mesh stubby tank. I believe it's like exactly as the stubby tank is, but it, it uses mesh at the top. I don't love mesh, but I do want to build this because I want to, but it's the Ponty and it uses the same, you know, it's the full size stubby. So it takes full advantage full advantage of the inside of the stubby that extra height you get extra capacity i don't know about building with mesh no more i don't know about building with mesh but there's, there's a good chance this could vape awesome seems hyper spring loaded like it's really going to hold your cotton against the mesh i know it's going to wick because stainless steel cables wick amazing it's got a super reduced chamber on the inside. It's got some pretty nice smooth airflow on there. You know, this is just build stream, build stream fodder right here. We're going to be doing that next week. We'll do that next week on the build stream. The Ponty. I'm excited about it. I haven't, the, the stubby mouth to lung kit has been in my matte black stubby for months now months. I'm going to feel sad taking this out. I can't take it out until the liquid's gone. It's going to take me another three weeks to get through that liquid. I just know it. And even after sitting the whole time I was gone, I came back and vaped this and it was like, I, I barely had to vape through any slush or anything. Then, oh, that's right. Uh, so we got some Obey Robot, hot Robe, Obey Robot action. Custom little grim green tin. That's dope. This is a Boro tank. This is a custom engraved. Okay, we need to go up close cam again. Boom. Come on, that's metal as fuck. Look at that little demon head right there with the X'd out eyes. Boom, grim green down the side. Boom, obey robot down the other side. Boro tank. It's the traditional. Look how bad my nail beds are. That's that is some rough nail bed action. 
It's the old school, you know, slidey glass. It's not like the crypt tank or anything like that, but it's aluminum and it's all super custom engraved. And I think this would look sick in the mission maybe, because then you could see the whole thing. You could see like the little demon head creeping around the back. It's kind of sick. It's kind of sick with it. Obey robot. And it comes with a, uh, you know, a spare glass. I got a spare glass with that. Obey robot uh, has been turning out some pretty sick stuff lately. I got some coils. Let's look at these. These are from, uh, these are from, uh, you know, opium, uh, opium, uh, Oh, yeah, he goes by o Opium Resin Art. I think it was Opium Resin, opium resin Art. Um, but he's also a coil builder, and he's also a tattoo artist. Philip Pesquia, Pesica, Philip Pesica, tattoo artist, tossed me a bunch of coils and stickers, and that's always sick. What was this in here? Yeah, keychain, wooden keychain. That's kind of sick with it. Threw me a bunch of coils, stickers. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen this sticker before. I've had this sticker before on the vlog. That's something that he drew, the skull snail right there. I have this sticker on my on my cabinet back here. So we got some coils. We got a bunch of coils, honestly. We got a shit ton of coils. Coils by Dennis. You see the sticker? Shout out to Coils by Dennis for the coils. Tossed me off a bunch of stuff. I love uh, I love handmade coils. Coils by Dennis. Dutch. Handmade Dutch coils. Baby AIO mouth to lungs. Triple sevens. There's some Boro stuff in here. Some other stuff in here. Boro aliens. Series fused. Tricor classics V2s. I love coils. Uh, I will never say no to coils. Because I think it's, I don't know, everybody does slightly different coils and different diameters and different resistances and things. And so it's interesting seeing the way other people, you know, other people vape. Got a plug, converter plug, you know, that's just in here. Uh, we got another, uh, we got another uh, Obey Robot Boro, if I can get it out of here. And here's a pro tip for anybody uh, traveling long distances or internationally with like a checked bag and you want to bring home a lot of vape stuff, just pack a flat rate box. Pack a medium flat rate box in your checked bag and you can put all your vape stuff in there. It's been the best thing ever. No, this is a matchy matchy, holy shit. This is a matchy matchy Boro tank for that... Uh, you know, the Hoko E that I have with the swirly pattern. This is the same matching swirly pattern on this Boro tank. And it's got skull with mushrooms coming to the eyes, wearing headphones. Swirly pattern to match my swirly Hoko E. And then it's boom, green on the inside. That's sick. And it's old school. You know, it's the slide down the glass Boro. But it's green on the inside. I think that's so sick. I'm gonna set up that MV inside this, inside the Hoko E, and I think that would be super sick. I just love that swirly pattern. I just love it. I hate the way my hands and fingernails look right now, so let's get out of there. But I love that. You're going back in there. Okay, so I can start putting these back in here. We got some uh, Obey Robot uh, panels. Shit, yeah, panels. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> these are awesome. Let me try to do an up close of these two. Boom. Oh, nothing, just the Grim Reaper over like Warrior Woman on a throne of skulls. It's just metal as hell. Little golden Grim Army at the bottom. So super dope. I don't know if these are for Dot or for Billet. They have to be for Dot, right? No, these are Billet box panels. What am I thinking? Why do they look so much smaller? Oh, baby. 
That is busting. Yes. Bluegrass just got some new panels on there. That looks pretty sick. These would look sick on a black billet box, like a matte black billet box. I think that's when they'd look really sick. In the meantime, Billy Billy goes back. And then I got, uh, you know, the Grim Green uh, Nicotine is Not a Crime billet box pouch for traveling and protecting your billet box and the such as. Shout out to Obey Robot. Like I said, they've been doing some dope stuff. They've been doing... Uh, Custom uh, custom panels, custom doors, custom borrow boxes, custom things. It's great. I love it. They also do these mod stands that I got for the first time. It's the crow head, uh, you know, the raven head Addy stands. Look how sick those are. Look how sick. Obey Robot on one side, Grim Army on the other side, right in the skull there. It's like blue guy. So dope. So dope. So dope. Why don't you, why wouldn't you want a Raven head Addy stand? Those are so dope. We're going to keep those out. Obviously. I don't know why I put that in there. There's so much more in here, including these tanks for something else. And this, okay, so I'm going to put some of this back in here for now. I'm going to put the pulse AIO in here right now. The pulse squonker. So I can set this aside because there's so much more. There's like, there's so much more. This is just the, the small stuff that fits in there. The small stuff that fits in there. This is, seems dangerous, Drip Theory? No, bro. Yeah, I mean, look, you could use this as a weapon. I'm not going to lie. Your fingers kind of fit perfectly in the eye holes. And you could use this as like a, you know, a shank type of situation. I don't know if it would break the skin. I guess if you went hard enough, you could you could do some damage. But I'm just going to use it for atomizer stands. You know, I'm going to use it for atomizers on top. That's going to be a desk warrior. This is going to live on my desk somewhere, somehow. I can fit more stuff on my desk. At Mizzou, what is it? What is it? It's at Mizzou. Oh, would you look over here? It's at Mizzou, and it's at Mizzou. This is the uh, the newest at Mizzou hotness, the steam shell. Steam shell, and it's an old school, like it's a traditional, can fit in any boro tank. Little deck, little chimney. I'm assuming that's a restricted lung chimney, a, a mouth to lung chimney. It's got a, a whole mess of air flows. 3.5 millimeter to a 0.8. Everything from a 3.5 to a 0.8. I personally, I've been using billet box stuff for mouth to lung. I don't care for restricted lung in a billet box, I've realized. I really, 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 really like mouth to lung. I really like mouth to lung in billet boxes. There's just something about the capacity and the 18650 battery. I just love it. it. Just hits with me. So we got an Atmazoo steam shell. That's for the Tuesday build stream as well. I didn't realize we had so many Tuesday build stream things, but that's great. This was a gift from Volker. I believe this was a gift from Volker. This is the Enigma. He, 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 he gave me like a hand-me-down mech. You can use this for a retro vape soon. Enigma mech mod RDA combo. A little stain on there. No big deal. It could, it could, be, it could be buffed out. Could be buffed out. Never heard of this before, but it is a mech mod. He kind of gave me a little walkthrough of it, of like how it works. Yeah, there's a locking switch on the bottom. That really protrudes there. I wonder if I can make that sit flush. Yes! Soft little throw. Weird deck. What is this, like a double chimney deck on here? Oh, that's a trip. Three posts. Airflow slots. Okay, here we got a retro vape. 
We've got a retro vape courtesy of Folker. Thank you. Yeah. Nice smooth airflow. Holy crap. That's fascinating. I had never heard of this before. The Enigma number 178. Dang, Enigma. Yeah. Enigma mech. I was just gifted that. I love it. I like, uh, I also like hand-me-down vape gear. I don't know what it is, especially hand-me-down vape gear that I never got to try before. Never got to try this. Stoked to have it. Stoked to finally give it a give it a give it a shot. Uh, we didn't do birthdays yet, but uh, this is actually a really good place to do the birthdays. This is a really good place to do the birthdays. A hundred percent good place to do the birthdays. Uh, do we have any birthdays in in the chat? I think, uh, Fishy, aren't, aren't you, uh, do you want to do uh, this week or next week? We'll do this week, huh? We'll put Fishy on there. I got Sewer Rug. I got Jeremy V. I got Fishy. Does anybody else have a uh, birthday request? Get your birthday request in now. Got to pull over the other, uh, the other tub. Got to pull over the other tub. I don't know about you guys, but I am really craving a Blue Raz pickle at the moment. Really, really, uh, really, really craving it. Birthdays? Yeah. Oh, birthdays? Someone got their skipping shoes on? Is there any other birthdays in the chat? Throw it out there. If you have a birthday, I guess I'll throw Barbara up there too since uh, I completely spaced her birthday. Next Wednesday, May 24th for reels. Okay, here's the thing, Douglas. Next week. Next week when it's closer to your birthday. The 19th, Kai's girlfriend. Kai's unnamed girlfriend. Kai's unnamed girlfriend. Oh, Diana. Okay, Diana. We can do that on there. Uh, Jesse James, you missed out earlier. If you jump on the hashtag replay crew, I don't know what the timestamp was. Maybe Jeremy V can make a, a pickle timestamp. But uh, uh. Face Meat sent over some Blue Raz Kool Aid pickles, and we consumed one. It's delicious. All the all the other Kool-Aid pickles have been eaten. We had two jars of Kool-Aid pickles and I ate all of them. I ate all of them. Yeah, I was going to say Fishy, you're ne you're definitely next week. I wanted to get it as close to the birthday as possible. You're definitely you're definitely next week. I saw that. I know that. All right, here's the thing. I love birthdays. I want to sing happy birthday to all of the birthday people. Did anybody notice my new Moo Mod sticker right here? Right next to Blue Buddha Tinctures and uh, the Billet Box. Drip Theory's up here. I got two Blue Buddha Tinctures. Billet Box. Nicotine Warning. <clears throat> next week, Piss God. Next week. I will sing you happy birthday. There's nothing you can do to stop me from doing that. Okay. Oh, your birthday is 420, but you got no hype because 420. I'm sorry, Rich. Listen, I'll throw you on right now. Rich M. Happy fucking birthday, bro. Happy birthday. It was during the vape mail. Okay. Hope everybody sings with me. I don't like thinking that I sing alone because then that makes me feel foolish. But if I know that everybody in the chat, like every single person watching this stream right now, sings happy birthday with me, makes me feel a little bit less awkward. <clears throat> Sick girl? Sick girl? Sick girl's birthday? My birthday is now today? Brenton? Brenton, happy birthday! Yeah! Is it really sick girl's birthday? Na 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 sick girl. 
Okay, everybody sings. I know, you know, if nothing else, I know for sure that Sewer Rug is singing with me. If there's one person that I can count on that I know who will who will take this seriously, I know that Sewer Rug will sing Happy Birthday with me. Let's sing Happy Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday uh, to you. Happy birthday, dear Sewer Rug and Jeremy V and Barbara Burgess, my cousin, and Diana, and Rich M for having his birthday on 420. Rich M, happy birthday, and Sick Girl, and Brenton. Happy birthday to Oh, it's time. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. You know what to do. You skip around the room. You know what to do. You skip around the room. Happy freaking birthday, mother truckers. Hope it was awesome for you. If it hasn't happened yet, I hope your birthday rules. The bir- Your birthday is the day that you, you get to do whatever you want, man. You know? Uh, I, I had I remember like uh, my first core on my birthday in 2020, like the quarantine birthday. I was like, eh, this is fine. All I really wanted to do was stay home, uh, you know, smoke weed and watch movies anyway. You know, so it's like I watched old 80s comedy movies like all day long. Didn't even leave the couch. It was awesome. That's what I want to do on my birthday. It's my birthday. I get to do what I want. You get to do what you want. Happy freaking birthday, friends. I hope you had a spectacular one. Ben made it. Okay, Ben, you barely made it. I'm just kidding. We have a long way to go. We got at least another half hour of uh, maybe longer of of uh, of hall hall stuff. Let's see. I'm gonna tell this story too. This story. Vap smoke. Vap smoke. This was. I posted, uh, it became an Instagram reel. It became a YouTube short. And uh, Kent and I ran into this really good vape shop in uh, Luzerne, Switzerland, which I never in my life before that moment ever thought I would go to Luzerne, Switzerland. But we were in Zurich and Kent's like, do you want to go to go to a different city tomorrow? Do you want to go to Luzerne, Switzerland tomorrow and get maybe get closer to the Alps? I was like, yeah, that sounds kick ass. And so we got on a train the next day, went to Luzerne, got a hotel in Luzerne, walk, walked around a bunch. Um, when we were in Zurich, Kent was trying to find a vape shop. He's like, let's find a vape shop. Couldn't find a good vape shop in Zurich. But when we Googled vape shops near us in Luzerne, Kent's like, oh, there's one like three or four blocks away and then we make a right. It should be right down there. I was like, dope, let's go check out a vape shop in Luzerne, Switzerland. So we used Google Maps. You know, you look like the ultimate tourists. You're holding your map, watching yourself walk on the roads and you're like, oh, is it the next? No, okay, it's the next one, sorry. We we don't live here, obviously. We, we're tourists and we're just looking for a vape shop. Went around the corner, went into this vape shop. The dude instantly was like, oh, hey guys, look who it is, Grim Green Twisted Messes. We're like, what? Did you know that we were coming? And he's like, oh, I thought you came here because of the message we left on your post. I was like, wait, what? So I jumped on Facebook and the owner of this shop was like, hey, if you're in Lucerne, Switzerland, come to my shop. I'd love to give you some liquid. I didn't see that message until after we were already in the shop. So we had randomly found this shop that the owner had posted on my Facebook. It was like kismet, you know, it was just, it was meant to happen. And you guys... I wish, uh, I wish I had, hang on, hang on, hang the F on. Cause I have some pictures from this vape shop. Oh, nope. That's still in Zurich. Uh, of the things that they were carrying and it is, uh, kind of amazing. I just want to show you, I didn't post these on socials or anything. 
But this was the back wall of this vape shop. Dope stuff everywhere. Spools of wire, cutting tools, building tools, RDAs, RTAs everywhere. Top coilers everywhere. They had multiple Brunhildas. You know, what, you know, see whatever you can see. Tons of Steam Crave stuff, tons, tons of Vandy Vape stuff. RDAs and RTAs and mouth to lungs and side by sides and dot mods and dot AIOs. And it, it was like some, some sort of beautiful dream when I walked in there. Look at this. This was just one of the little areas. Give it a second. Danny's. They had Danny SBS. They had die codes Danny's there. Vapor Giant, $60 RTA. They had the Vapor Giant Max. I couldn't believe it. And this was just a vape shop, just, you know, in Zurich. And customers were in there, like buying liquids. And I thought, wow, th this, is, this is amazing. I felt like completely like re-energized. I was like, holy shit, real vape shops still exist, are alive and well in Luzerne, Switzerland, and are apparently thriving. Like they sell all the hobby stuff. Here, Liz, uh, is this another picture? This might not be a very good picture. Yeah, this is, yeah, dude. Steam Crave, what is that? The Uber, Uberic, the Uberic? Mouth to lung RTA? No idea what that is. Bushido, Vandy Vape, look at Dead Rabbit, Watofo, tons of cotton, cotton bacon. There was a Kumo. I almost bought a black Kumo there. <laughs> I almost bought another black Kumo there. Anyway, this shop was uh, was super dope. It's just called Smoke Vape or Vape Smoke. Vape Smoke. Uh, in Luzerne, Switzerland. And that's where this bag came from. And there's some liquids in here from them, but there's also a mess of other liquids in here as well. These guys, this was handed off to me and uh, Bogan immediately vouched for it like crazy. It's called The Rituals, Dragon Passion, Saltwater Taffy. He said, uh, it's unbelievable. And so I said, I will take a bottle. Absolutely, the rituals dragon passion. There was another one. Oh yeah, this was from them. Uh, I got a. I took home a bunch of super good, you know, because super good. I got my favorites: butter two and butter three. Butter two is the jammy dodger, basically jam the 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 strawberry jam cookie. That's amazing, and the uh, lemon blueberry, you know. Lemon blueberry sponge cream. Took home some super goods just because, you know, they were there. I was talking to my my friends at Super Good and they said, do you want to take home any liquid? And I said, look, if you have some number two or number three, I'll definitely take some because those rule. It's not a great vape shop name, is it? It's not a great vape shop name. I know. Bad name. Cool shop. Really cool shop. You sang with me? Oh, thank you, bird dog. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I got two bottles of the Ritual Dragon Passion Saltwater Taffy, some butter. This is what came from this vape shop, which I'm going to keep this bag. I don't know why I'm sentimental about this bag, but I want to keep it to remind me of the time I was randomly in Luzerne, Switzerland with Kent, and we walked into a random vape shop that was like, you know, it's like we were meant to be there. But these are the liquids he wanted me to try. This is uh, Mystic Elixirs. It, it says Apple Kiwi. Apple Kiwi, zero milligram. They need Nick shots. Mystic Elixirs and Mystic Elixirs Lemonade. Lemonade Melon Frishy. No idea. No idea what these taste like. Maybe these will both be up for the random liquid tasting because we're still going to do a random liquid tasting even though we have so much more to go. We're going to run long. Yeah, oh, this is the... Uh, I didn't even open it yet. Didn't even open it yet. Nobody gives Grim Green the raspberry. This. Yes. 
This is the Amortorium Glamour Raspberry Ripple. This is six bottles of Amortorium Glamour Raspberry Ripple that I just can't wait to vape. I just can't wait. These need nick shots or are these pre-nicked? I don't know if these are pre-nicked or not. They could be pre-nicked. I'm not sure. They might need a nick shot. It doesn't look like I can fit anything in there. Those, those, this, okay. But wait, uh, I, I also brought home some uh, super good Nick salts and I basically brought these home to give them away. This is all a bunch of uh, 20 milligram butter number two. It's the Jammy Dodger cookie. It's a freaking delicious flavor. I don't vape Nick salts, but I basically brought these home to give away to my patrons. You know, we got to fill those boosh boxes with something dope. So I feel like some uh, pod systems and some 20 milligram super good might do the trick. So thank you super good for donating to the, to the cause. This is something I'm pretty proud of. Uh, I didn't even know that this was going to be a thing, but the empire won third place best mod at the vape around global awards which if you've never been to an industry awards show before, it's a little ridiculous. You know, it's a little over the top. It's interesting watching a large group of people cheer for like best salt e-liquid. And everyone's like, oh yeah, that's a really great salt e-liquid. It's just interesting. It's really interesting. It was my first experience, but the freaking empire won third place. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? I was blown away completely blown away i didn't even know we were up for a nomination completely blown away i also won uh, a, a second place in the reviewer the reviewers uh the reviewers thing second place not bad i was so stoked on that i was so stoked on that but i was really stoked on this really stoked on that i need to frame this and Put it somewhere in my office, cause that's dope. Like that just made me so happy. Uh, also, oh, there's actually some more mail in here too. All right, well, we're gonna get into some more mail. These, these are salt nicks of uh, Uncommon. So this is the raspberry lemon white chocolate eclair, 20 milligram salt nicks. This is the uh, peanut butter white chocolate cookie in a 20 milligram salt nick. And the uh, cinnamon snickerdoodle ice cream 20 milligram salt nick. I was vaping all of these in a pod at one point while I was traveling. And I've kind of just come to the conclusion that salt just, you know, like I said before, it kind of hits me weird. Kind of hits me weird. Uh, the dudes that won... Number one reviewer, uh, I don't know why I can never remember their names, but they're like, it's called the Vaping Podcast. Hang on. There's a, there's a picture of us I got tagged in. Yeah, these guys. These guys, the FV Vape Show. Your favorite vape podcast. FV Vape Show, these guys. And then that's the face he made when he won. Look at that. Look at that guy. Don't you want to follow that guy on, on Instagram? These guys. They won. It's uh, it's just Vape Podcast. You can find them on Instagram, at Vape Podcast, uh, best reviewer. And, and I was stoked, and I was sitting right next to him, and, uh, you know, they're announcing the winners, and I truly and honestly, I didn't want to go up on stage. That was my only thing. I was like, I don't want to go up on stage. I, I genuinely don't want to win because I don't want to go up on stage. And plus, after 14 years, it's like, look, I've been doing this 14 years. What business do I have being the best reviewer? I can't possibly be the best reviewer on YouTube. That's insane. And so Vaping with Vic was third place, and I was like, uh-oh, I think I thought vaping with Vic was going to win it because he won it last year. And when I saw him in third place, it changed everything in my brain. Then Grim Green came up second place and I was like, oh, yes. Amazing. Who got first place? And it was the dude sitting right next to me. <laughs> you know, and we had been chatting this whole time. They're just great guys. 
they, they do great videos. They have a great podcast. Um, their YouTube is really good. They deserve it. A hundred percent. They deserve it. A hundred percent. They deserve it. Here's the thing. I still have mail in here. I still have vape mail in here. Freebase is the way. Phil Basardo and I got into a discussion at uh, Hall of Vape at the Inakin booth about this very subject of throat hit. He's like, hey, Nick, can I try your billet box? I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I was like, it's a mouth to lung. You'll, you'll probably love it. And so he vaped my billet box with the MV in there and that jelly guava. And he's like, we vape basically the same. And I said, yeah, 12 milligram free base, mouth to lung. Love the crap out of it. And so we got on the discussion of like, do we enjoy this 12 milligram free base because of the nicotine level? Or do we enjoy 12 milligram free base just for the throat hit sensation? You know, like if there was a way to replicate that perfect throat hit in a zero nick, I might vape it in a zero nick just to get that like throat hit sensation, you know? Interesting conversation. That's the shit right there. Salt Nick. Um, here's the thing. I still have more mail to open. I didn't realize that I still had more mail in the thing. But this is something I picked up as well. I just want to open this up. Oh, come on, you stupid monitor. You're not going to power off in five minutes. Did you guys ever see these? Picked one of these up at Vapor Expo UK. I picked two of these up so I could uh, review one and give one away. It's a Boro. It's a dual battery Boro. It's kind of honking, but it's a dual battery Boro that is PNP and GTX coil head compatible. So it's kind of a honker. It's big. Dual batteries. Boom. On the inside, dual 18s. Or are those 21700s? No, those can't be 21700s. That's ridiculous. Yeah, dual 18650s. It's called the Ethos. It's dual 18650s. Buttons on the front, and this panel comes off, and you have a large, like, rectangular or triangular tank on the inside. It's not like a, a traditional Boro, but traditional Boro bridges that work with traditional Boro tanks will fit inside here. It's like, oh, hang on, I'll just show you. It's so much easier. Do you see the shape of it? It's like a triangle. It's like pyramidal in nature. Well, you get a base, boosh, you can put a coil head in here, PNP or GTX coil heads, and it comes with its own coil heads. So you can just vape it right out of the box. And the button is on the front of the panel, and it's like a little bit limelighty in that the contacts touch completes it, and then you can fire it on the front and remove it. I, I just thought that was really cool. Really cool. I was like, dual battery, PNP coil head based Boro that's a little fist packy AIO type of thing. I don't know. I was really impressed with this, and uh, he sent me home with two of them. So like I said, one's going to get reviewed, one's going to get given to a patron. And I even got a spare tank to go with the spare ethos. But they were selling those, and I kept grabbing it. Like, these guys were right next to Vapor's Cloud, like, basically at the same booth at, at the Vapor Expo. And I just kept grabbing it and handling it, and like touching it. I was so amazed with that panel. I was like, oh, that's really smart to have the button on the front and the connections on the inside is magnetic. You just touch it. That's cool. Trapezoid shape. Is that what shape that is? Is that what shape that is? It is reloish. It is reloish, isn't it? It felt, it feels reloish. It feels reloish. Anyway, this is a Dovpo jam, I think. Desert yellow. That's desert champagne if I've ever seen it. 
So I got two of those. Uh, we did. Oh, 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 here's some more uh, Nick salts. This is butter number three, 20 milligram Nick salts. Purely, I took these home purely for giveaways. Purely for giveaways. I might, I might steal a few to vape them, but chances are it's going to be giveaways. Mother truck and proper coils. Shout out to proper coils. I'm going to have proper coils uh, on this YouTube. We're going to do like a, a build stream. I'm going to have proper coils on the build stream on, on YouTube. And uh, have them on. We'll talk about building and do some building. But yeah, proper coils, a whole mess of coils. You know, staggered fuse Clapton's, triple core aliens. I mouth to lung Clapton's. I even got a sick uh, proper coils hoodie that's like a pullover hoodie, not a zippy zip hoodie. I love a good pullover hoodie. And I got a, I got a proper coils pullover hoodie. I also have to give a shout out to two other people. Coil maker, CC Coils UK. He handed me off some coils. And Asian Kitten. Are you guys hip to Asian Kitten on uh, uh, on Instagram? She currently holds the, the fastest alien building coil like record. She can knock out aliens in like two seconds. It's crazy. It's crazy how fast she builds. And she was there and she bought me some candy and gave me some coils and I was very excited, Asian Kitten. What I should do is a build stream and just have a, like a bunch of UK builders on. But we're definitely going to have proper coils on the stream on my YouTube uh, at some point. At some point really very soon. Shout out to you, proper coils. Appreciate you. Thank you. And thank you for the hoodie. Also, but wait, there's more. Here's the weirdest device that I got. It's called the Wiz. Look at this. What do you even make of this? It makes no sense. The Wiz. It's called a hybrid vaporizer. And apparently what this does, besides looking a little ridiculous, is... Nope, oh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, there it is. One side, one side is for dry herbal material, if you know what I'm getting at, if you see what I'm saying. And the other side that apparently I can't unscrew because I don't know how this works, the other side is meant to be filled with e-liquid. And there's a coil head like tank on the inside. And I don't know why I can't. Oh, it's magnetic. That's why. Coil head tank for nicotine on the other side. So plant material goes in this side and nicotine liquid goes in this side. And you push this on here and you can swap between nicotine and plant material in the same vape. Nicotine and cannabis, they go together, you know, they go together really well. And this does both. And that's weird. That's weird. It's a fucking tape recorder. It looks like the little talk boy from, uh, you know, Home Alone 2. Just weird. And I don't know if you're meant to vape it at the same time. Like when I, when I fill this up, if, and when I fill this up with plant material, if I fill this up with e-liquid and press the button, it's going to hit me with both. I'm going to get, it's like, you know, in the UK and in certain, it's, you know, it's not in a UK exclusive thing, but I've noticed they do it in the UK as they roll their cannabis with tobacco makes the cannabis last longer. The nicotine and the cannabis are just a delightful little dance in your brain. So that's what they do. It's like a spliff, you know? And so this is the idea of, it's like an e electronic spliff so that you can get nicotine and THC at the same time through the same 
mouth hole. I didn't say it was amazing, Lurker Jerry. In fact, I think I did use the word silly already. It's silly. It looks silly. It looks complicated. But damn it, I couldn't not try it. They're like, do you want to take one? Do you want to try it? And I thought, fuck yeah, I do. Of course. Why would I not? If it vapes, I want to try it. So you get a little magnetic tank. Boom. Plant material. Boom. The whiz. It honestly like feels pretty nice and solid. It honestly feels pretty nice and solid. Another thing that I picked up in Germany. I don't know if you guys know about this or not. The Odin V2. Did you guys see the Odin V2? Oh, Odin V2. Boom. Boom. It's sick. And it feels like exponentially smaller than the other Odins because this back door, this like C framey back door, is just really slick and small and contoured. It's got the cutouts. Odin V2. Kind of sick with it. All he had left was matte black. I waited until the very end of the show. I was like, I don't want to take anything that you're going to sell. And if you have any left over, I will gladly take one home. I don't care what color it is. Got a matte black. Odin V2. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to get a review for that up. I just was amazed by, like, the hand feel of it. Nicotine and cannabis go together really well from the country that doesn't add tobacco to joints. Yeah, they do go together really well. I like vaping also with cannabis. I like it. Odin V2. But wait. Listen, we're not going to get into this mail. There's more mail that I just, uh, we don't have time to open right now. Because I have two more things and then we're going to do a liquid tasting. In fact, I don't even have any idea what liquid tasting we're going to do. Let's try this one. Let's do that one. And I'll grab another bottle. We'll do two of the UK liquids. All right, we'll do three three UK liquids. Sick. Uh, shout out to Coils by Scott. Uh, Coils by Scott. Scott's a hell of a dude. Uh, I got to spend some time with him in both Germany and the UK. He's just a solid dude. He's basically the British Dwayne. When I met him, I was like, oh, holy shit, you're British Dwayne. He's he's tattooed and like muscly and tank tops. Uh, and it, I was just like, I, I feel like you're the British Dwayne. But Scott handed me off some coils with some tweezers. I was running his coils in my P22 the whole time I was there. But he does he does dope coils. Staggered Fuse Clapton for Boro, Four Core Aliens for Boro, Alien Claptons, just standard issue Fuse Claptons. Most of his stuff is for, uh, you know, smaller formats, Boros and the such as. Oh, I guess that looks like a, that could be like a series type of build. Um, but just a damn hell ass nice guy. And uh, he makes some, some high quality, high quality coils. So shout out to Coils by Scott. Boosh. It was a pleasure getting to hang out with him. Okay, so the last thing before we get to a random liquid tasting from the hall, not including the mail that's still there, which I will open tomorrow, is this jam from uh, Overkill Mods. Anybody hip to Overkill Mods? I posted them in my story. They just make some big ass mods, you know? Big ass mods. I don't know what chip they do in the Odin. I don't know what this chip is. I think it's the Dovpo chip. I don't think it's a DNA. Let's put some batteries in it and just see. Because we're here and we have time. For a dual 21700, this is crazy small. Oh yeah, it's uh it's a Dove Poey looking chip. Oh, that's pretty slick little animations right there. Shows you what you need to know. Check atomizer. Check atomizer. 
How high does it go? 200 watts, probably? Yeah, there it is. Does not round robin as people like, oh, it does round robin. If you click past it, 200 watts. When was the last time anybody in the chat vaped at 200 watts? It doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. What would you have to vape at 200 watts? Like bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay, and so the last thing here from Overkill Mods is uh, pretty dope. It hit with me as soon as he showed it to me because I like hexomes, and so I really liked the way this looked. It's 3D printed, and it's printed with like, you see the like the glitter speckles in it? It's got like a, it's got like a speckly finish that I think is pretty dope. My tech switch. It's tool. It's a dual 21700 series. This is a series box, I believe. Parallel looks parallel to me. Well, shit. I better hit up. Uh, yeah, fuck normal. I got a fuck normal T-shirt from Overkill. It's like this, it doesn't, the, the video isn't doing it justice. It's a, it's a really slick purple color. Overkill mods. It's got a dope pattern. It's got the skull. And it felt like when I grabbed it, it felt real hexomey. Like maybe a little bit thicker than a hexome, but real hexomey. Real hexomey. I wonder if I need to put something big on here, you know? like a steam crave something or other, or a, a big Valhalla or Asgard with a beauty ring on there. I think he said this was series. I'm very sure he said this was series, but maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't, I mean, this door, yeah, here, this door gives you a good idea of what the speckle looks like. Not really. Video's not doing it justice. I feel like I could just bend this and break it in half like it feels a little bit on the fragile side, but that's fine. You know, it's 3D printed. I'm not expecting it to withstand, uh, you know, being run over by a car when it's all together and you have batteries in there. It's no worries. It's got a pretty dope hand feel. It might be a little bit big for my hand, but I love that MyTech switch. So shout out to Overkill Mods. That's dope. Uh, I want to get something up and running on that. Obviously, I want to get something up and running on all of these. And that's it. Woo! That's the haul, baby. That's the haul. So, let's finish this vlog up. One of the world's longest vlogs. It's series? Are you sure? It's series, he says. Parallel is two up. Oh, that is series. You're right. Hey, oh, I'm new here. I'm sorry. I didn't. I forgot that uh, parallel would be two, two straight up and down uh, batteries. Damn. Series. So I need to dig out some something big to put on there. What's a good series already? I was thinking like you know the Valkyrie. Something like that, or the Valhalla, rather, or the uh, Asgard. So let's do uh, let's do a very random liquid tasting. I even have some salt nicotine that I can put in here. So let me do let me get a poll going. We get I'll get to these super chats, but we're gonna end this stream with a random liquid tasting. We're gonna do. We're going to do if I could spell elixir correctly.
Oh, it's not. Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm bad at typing things. I spelled both of those wrong. But here's what's up on the chopping block. It's these guys. We're going to be choosing between the ritual, dragon passion, which is the saltwater taffy. There's the mystic elixir, uh, lemon melon, lemonade melon, and then the mystic elixir, uh, apple kiwi. That is how we're going to vote today. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote, and it's funky. So let me put on some voting music. Let me know if the voting music is too loud. Uh, I misspelled elixir on both of those. Misspelled elixir on both of those. Um, while you guys are voting, Queen Honey Bunny, that's very gracious of you. Thank you for that slice of pie. I just, I, how do you know that I love pie so much? I just love it. Thank you. Fishy, I was singing to my roommate at the same time you were singing to everyone else. I even did the skip around the room. She says, thank you very much. My pleasure. My pleasure. I hope, I hope that I hope to have a great birthday and I'm glad you sang and skipped around the room, Fishy. I know, see, and now I know I can count on you, Fishy, to always sing along with me, you know? We also need to do a little bit of hydrating right now. This bottle's empty. I've been consuming water out of a recycled uh, smart water bottle. Ye freaking ha. All right. Please vote. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. It's a salad. Well, well. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. The rituals is just going to kill it. The rituals is just going to kill it. All right. Let me go get uh, two salt nicks to throw in here. different nicotines in here uh mike t 206 bro thank you that's very nice of you glad you had an amazing time uh thoroughly enjoyed the the pics uh and nick and kent laundry live oh yeah we did the laundry live have a few delicious hazies on me take care mike t thank you bro i 100 percent. that's going right into the beer budget right into the beer shopping budget we had a great time, and yeah, we did a live stream from the most annoying laundromat in the history of laundromats. In the history of laundromats. No, there's not a uh, there's not a Patrick Conquest uh, package in here. It's all China stuff. It's you well and Vupu. It's you well and the poo. That's it. Nothing from Patrick. All right. Well, uh, I think I see where this uh, poll is going. Uh, unfortunately, Mystic Elixirs not 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 quite making the cut tonight. What are you gonna do? Very little, it would seem. Why is, uh, I don't know why my, uh, stream, if my stream is getting choppy or freezing on you guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't change any of my settings, but for some reason, YouTube is like, your stream health is just not really doing much right now. I'm sorry. Ending the poll at 114 votes, the rituals, the rituals has won. The rituals, there it is, dragon passion. This is a liquid that Bogan vouched for. He vouched for this liquid. I hope it's good. We're gonna throw two nicotines in here and call it a day. Where's my little opener? Oh no! Ah. 
This is the, the short fill cap opener is the greatest invention in the history of inventions. It makes short fills awesome. I'm gonna use two completely different nicks in here. One of them is a uh, plus nick. Just throw that right in the trash because we don't recycle. I'm just kidding. We do recycle, but the problem is even if you're recycling, you don't recycle. And I hate that. I hate that there's people that care that want to recycle and then your country just takes all your plastic and ships it to China and then they just throw it in the ocean. And then a Rizzo. And that's how we get to three milligram. You know, this could have been done at a lab by professionals, but TPD, they said, well, no, we'll, we'll let the consumer mix the liquids. <laughs> we'll let the consumer mix the liquids. Give this a shake. If you don't vote to J, then you don't get the rituals. This ritual is unacceptable. Saltwater taffy. Dragon passion fruit saltwater taffy. That just sounds good. It just sounds good. Yeah, we had the worst uh, laundromat experience uh, of our lives in, uh, in Luzerne, Switzerland. It was ridiculous. It took like six hours. <laughs> it took like six hours to do laundry. Uh, you know what? I don't know where you where you get the short fill openers. This look, this one has a, some branding on it, but I don't. I... Four in one short fill cap opener. It looks like this. It's amazing. It is actually amazing. All right, let's taste this. So tonight we're tasting this. What's up, peeps? My name's here. Uh, actually, this has nothing to do with Mike Vapes. It's the uh, mix in 2700 mode. This was a gift from uh, the Reluctant Pam Cakes, the wonderful Pam, PSS 20, 2700 Cabello. Wanted to go Cabello. Hadn't used the Cabello in a while, and the Cabello on the mix is kind of a jam, except the fill hole is kind of slightly covered up on this side, so I got to unscrew it to fill it up and then screw it back down when I'm done filling it. But that's okay, you know? It's a small price to pay for such a great uh, tank on a cool looking mod. Here's the thing, let's knuckle. What are we doing? Let's knuckle. Oh, listen, I like saltwater taffy. I have high hopes for this. What's funny is this was my last act before I started streaming was I was sitting here going, oh, okay, I think I got everything together. And I was like, oh, shit, I don't have anything for a random liquid tasting. So I quickly built and wicked the Cabello. It was the fastest I've ever built something. So the test that we're going to do on this is if I like it, it's going to go in the Cabello. If I don't like it, it's not going to go in the Cabello. Boom roasted. Bogan vouched for this liquid, though. So... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let me get this lined up. Hello, there we go. Let's have a, let's have an inaugural toot here of the Rituals Loganberry... What? Oh, what just happened? It was a different bottle. We got a super surprise random liquid tasting. 
This is something that nobody even voted for. It's the rituals. And it said dragon passion saltwater taffy. But on the inside was a bottle that is Loganberry honey. Loganberry honey saltwater taffy. So, haha, ha, M. Night Shyamalan, what a twist. It's a different bottle on the inside of a differently marked box. So we ended up, we're going to end up vaping Loganberry Honey Swirl. Look at that. Surprised you all. You had no idea. Oh, it was all part of the plan. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It, 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 it tasted pretty delicious off of the knuckle. I kind of tasted something that t tasted like honey and that threw me off. Here, let's have a pull. Let's have a toot. It could, yeah, it could end up, uh, it could end up smelling like cat pee. Super random liquid tasting, like actual random liquid tasting. You see how that worked? You see how you voted something and then you got something else in the end? America, you know, <laughs> America. Cheers. This needs more water. It's just a fact. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna sit with this for a second and, and, and try to get my head around what I'm tasting and I'll be right back. I also don't know what a Loganberry is. No idea. Is it is is it a Logan exhales berry? Who knows? You know who who can know these things? I'm gonna Google Logan berry. A Logan berry. The more you know. I'm learning about Loganberries. Uh, it's a hybrid of a North American blackberry and a European raspberry. So this is this is cross Atlantic, you know, North American blackberry and a European raspberry hybrid together, Loganberry. That's what you get. It's like a blackberry raspberry. The fruit has a dark red color. Loganberries, accidental breeding. Named by James Harvey Logan. Loganberries. Okay, here we go, Loganberry.
Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. I don't know exactly what I'm tasting. It tastes like blackberries. I don't know what Loganberry tastes like, but it's definitely like heavy, heavy on the blackberry. I'm not getting much else. I'm definitely not getting like a honey swirl or like a taffy type of flavor. The Loganberry is very, very upfront. And in my head, I don't picture, you know, like Smacks Pony on Acid and the Guava Jelly. I picture like a clear jelly, you know, like a clear wad of jelly goo. This is definitely like murky. It's milky. I, I, I sometimes, whenever I taste like blackberry or raspberry e-liquids, I can sometimes like picture like the seeds and the stems. Like it has a very like earthy blackberry raspberry flavor. It doesn't taste uh, candied in any way. It's kind of like if you took Loganberries, I'm assuming, or blackberries and raspberries and mashed them all up into like a, a mashy mash. And then you made that into like a jelly. That's what I'm tasting. It's like a milky berry. It's like a milky berry. That's the best way I can describe this as like a milky berry. It's a little bit tart. It is a little bit tart. It's slightly like tart. Yeah, sharp blackberry, sharp blackberry tartness. I can almost taste like it's just in my head, right? It's just in my head. Seeds, seeds. Uh, it's uh, and here's the thing. You know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say before I even say it? Who can guess? Old soft throat. Old soft throat grim. I'm going to open up this airflow a little bit. Whoops. That doesn't work. Oh, that's right. I got to take the drip tip off. Uh, a good level of throat. I do get a good level of throat on the exhale only. Usually throatiness hits me on the inhale. With salt nicks, it's always on the inhale. With throaty liquids, it's always on the inhale. This is a throaty exhale. It just needs more wattage too. We're going to go to 53 watts. Yeah. That higher wattage brought out a lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. At that lower wattage, I was just getting tart. This is sweet tart. Blackberry. Not, and not milky like milk. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said milky. Not milky like milk, but milky like not translucent. You can't see through this in my head. I visualize everything I vape in my head. You can't see through this. This is like berries. It's like, it's like thick berries, like thick blackberries, some sweetness, some tartness. Higher wattage is definitely a bonus. Yeah, so much better at a higher wattage. Holy crap. Yes, yes, it's coming to life now. Yes. Gelatinous, it's gelatinous. Well, here's the thing. It's gonna pass the test. I wanna vape way more of this. 
So let's fill up this Cabello. Beautiful. I'll throw some liquid on top to get this wicking action started. Hopefully I wicked this correctly and this Cabello will keep wicking. I might even turn the airflow back down. But higher wattage, this juice just gets better and better. It's like, yeah, it's, it's more like a jam. Correct. Nathan, I don't know why I couldn't connect those dots, but yeah, it's a lot more like a jam than a jelly. It, 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 there's a little bit of creaminess to it. There has some creaminess to it. I get a little throaty on the exhale. Get a little throaty on the exhale. It's very mixed berries. I get raspberry, blackberry, jam. It's like, it's. I want. I don't want to say jam monstery, but it's a little jam monstery. That is delightful. Honestly, really delightful. The tartness is, uh, a, you know, a nice sensation. A nice sensation when you vape sweet, 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 and then bakery, 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 and then like tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. You get that tart blackberry, raspberry. Damn. Good. It's good. I don't know if it's like going to be an all day, every day legacy liquid. But for right now, I'm filling up this Cabello. I'm enjoying it. This is good. It's getting a, a, a bit of a seal of approval. It gets better the more I vape it. Tasty. Tasty, Loganberry. Tasty, buddy. All right, shit. Good job, the rituals. You will go back to wait for an audience of less discriminating tastes. Getting a little bit of nice crackle. There's a Twisted Timmy's in here. Berries. It's very fresh and summery. Berries. Good. Jam. It's definitely jam. Yeah, it's like a Jam Monster without the toast. It's like Jam Monster without the toast. When I was in New Zealand at the Oceana Expo... Uh, at the Oceana Vape Show, I picked up a Jam Monster there that was the first Jam Monster I've ever had that I really liked that was toastless. And this is a very toastless, t toast, toastless Jam Monster. Okay, official seal of approval. Official. My, I'm vaping it so much, my mix is telling me it's too hot. It's like, slow down, Grim Green. It's too hot. And I don't know if that's like a compliment to me, like you're too hot for this stream, so you need to end it, or your atomizer's too hot. Chances are it means the atomizer's too hot. But uh, you guys, this has been a successful vlog. This has been a successful vlog back. I feel good. I feel like I'm getting back in my groove. We're just gonna keep vlogging. I hope to have lots of content very soon. I have lots of reviews coming up. Lots of, lots of also non-reviews. Uh, I'm gonna be doing, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not that I'm getting away from reviews, but like I've done a lot of reviews, you know? And I still wanna review products, but I wanna do videos about vaping that aren't product reviews, you know? I wanna talk about some newsy things, and I wanna talk about some tips and tricks, and some how-to stuff, and some more general good vape knowledge, because I feel like a lot of the general good vape knowledge has kinda of just been lost to time, and people can't find it anymore, and I see all these questions on Reddit that are, you know, just basic questions that I'm like, I answered that eight years ago, bro. Oh yeah, I answered that eight years ago. I haven't answered that recently. So I wanna to try to get some more tribal vape knowledge out into the ethosphere, you know, uh, for, for people that are just arriving into the vape space. But I, oh, thank you, X, X, XV9. You quit smoking two weeks ago? Hell yeah. Fist bump. Boosh. 
it only gets easier. It only gets easier. As time goes on, it only gets easier. Y before you know it, it's like, oh, I quit two weeks ago. I quit two months ago. I quit two years ago. It just gets easier and easier. Welcome to the party. Always be hydrated. Always be hydrated. Don't be like Kent. Always be hydrated. All right, you guys. This is it. We're done. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look and make sure I didn't forget anything, even though I forgot a bunch of mail over here, but that's okay. Got a fucking Patrick Conquest t-shirt. Put it on my body. That's it, you guys. That's it. We're done. We're vlogging. The vlog's over. This has been a long ass vlog. I need to give a shout out to, to anybody in the chat who's been here since the beginning of the vlog. The people that start at the beginning and then I see them at the end of the stream. You guys are the real MVPs. You guys are the real MVPs. You're down from day one. You just watch the whole vlog from beginning to end. You're here the whole stream. I feel like we get to hang out and I can't explain to you the joy that that brings me to see people here at the beginning and here at the end. Megs was a little quiet tonight. Maybe you dialed it back a little too far. Maybe you're, you dialed it back a little too far. I feel like my taste buds have been healing. I started to taste my favorite e-juice more strawberry watermelon by Big Tasty. Hell yeah, that's exactly what will happen. You know, your, your, your sense of smell will come back, your sense of taste will come back. I was trying to fashion a tweet to something to that effect recently where I was talking about, you know, there's so many detractors that say things like, oh, well, you didn't really quit smoking. You just traded one addiction for another. You didn't really quit. And I, and I, and I think, well, my body knows I quit. My lungs know I quit. My sense of smell knows that I quit. Like my health and body absolutely know that I've quit smoking. Whether you think I have or not, doesn't mean shit to me because my health knows that I quit smoking. My lungs know that I quit smoking. My senses know that I quit smoking. So you can scream all you want that I've just traded one addiction for another, but my body definitely knows I've quit smoking. Smoking cigarettes damages every organ in your body. Every organ in your body. It's, it's like 19 different types of cancer. My body knows I've quit smoking, so... You detractors, you can kiss it. But that's it. Uh, I love you guys. Th what a great stream. What a great stream. It feels good to be back. And here at the end of the stream, after a beer and after plentiful vaping and after plentiful talking, don't even feel like a lick of sick anymore. Maybe a little sniffle. Maybe a little sniffle. But I feel great. Y y you guys healed me. That's, that's it. That's facts. I mean, that's just truth. You guys healed me. Happy birthday to the birthday people. And, uh... Keep on keeping on, you know, be excellent to each other. Life is hard enough and the world is, is cold of enough place that we don't need to be picking at each other. We need to be helping each other and we need to be, uh, you know, when that guy falls down, we, we all help pick him up, you know? Appreciate you guys. I'm gonna say peace out. I'm gonna say I love you. And I'm gonna say uh, be excellent to each other. Remember vaping fucking rules. It's gonna change the world. It's gonna save a billion lives. Flavors are gonna help it. And the reason that it's going to succeed is because of the community and people like us and people like you guys who can, you know, share the knowledge. And when people have questions on the internet, you chime in and you lead them in the right direction. And, you know, you, I want them to be smoke free. I just, it's my mission. It's my mission in life. I want the world to be smoke free, but I also want all, the whole world consuming nicotine, you know? <laughs> anyway, peace out, shaka bra. And uh, I don't have an outro anymore. So we we're going to say goodnight tonight, like we have been for the last few weeks with the soothing tones of uh, my BFF, Omboy OC. He believes he can fly. I believe we can all fly. Big love. And uh, just, you know, apparently I don't know how to end a vlog. So I'll just say, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe.
believe I can fly.